get the... See it? Yeah, yeah. Hey, everybody. So hey. glad to see you all. We are the Nat 30s. We're just waiting for one more person. Our very own... What's my name? Oops. Roy. Chogdor. Um... <laughs> Bruce is in the house. Nice. So Fires of Athelene has their their first um, emote, and it is Bruce, who is a bear. What does he have in his mouth? Oh, he's got sausages or something in his mouth. Um, so that is a, a bear companion in their campaign. Um, so I'll just get our announcements out of the way while we wait for Arik to arrive. Um, sausages. Um, <laughs> so our audio is actually all right in sync for, for now. I'm gonna see if I can turn it off. It might change when he arrives, but uh, you never know with this technology. So, announcement. Thank you to our sponsors. Uh, we have two sponsors: the Armory War Games and Hobbies, located in Fairhaven, Massachusetts. Um, Thanks to them, we have had several items to give away. Um, I was thinking of doing actually like maybe two giveaways today, like a local and a, and a anybody. Um, we're, we're gonna do like a, a shirt, I think, for anybody. And then I do have a um, easy dice roller, easy roller dice, I forget what the brand name is. Uh, it's one of those reversible pads that you can write, draw maps on. Um, but I don't really want to ship that anywhere. So if we have any local uh, people in the chat, they're going to have to speak up and then maybe we'll do like a giveaway. Maybe if we have one local person in the chat, they will just automatically win. We'll see. Wow. It's <laughs> just show up. <laughs> right. Okay, there's the audio out of sync. <laughs> okay. So um, let's see here. All right, our second sponsor is Foundry Virtual Tabletop. Uh, they are our virtual tabletop of choice, and we will be featuring them tonight, as that is what we are playing with now. Um, they have agreed to give us one license key to give away, so that's a one-time purchase for Foundry VTT of $50, um, and then you get the, the program and then everything that goes along with it, all the modules that are coming out, they were released uh, the program was released back in like March or, or so, thereabouts. Um, and there's just wonderful modules, everything's included. Um, so when we hit 25 subscribers, then we will be giving away that, um, that license key. Also as a little bonus, um, we do give away, um, gift cards to our top sub-gifters and cheerers every month. So that will be happening, just in case you, uh, anybody feels like gifting subscriptions to other people. Uh, and it is September, just um, throwing that out there too. I think that started a couple of days ago, so there's like a discount for recurring subscription. And that also allows us to do more emotes and keep those going. So there's a lot of uh, benefits. And then I did update the panels down below to show you what subscribers get. Um, Oh, that bum though. There's a, that bum though sticker all the way over there. Thank you. Wasn't there one that we didn't get to last time too? I mean, there's uh, probably the so many. <laughs> I uh, I lose track of there's that. Already... Some bums. Too many bums. <laughs> Not enough time. Too many bums. <laughs> it's true. I should put that in the bag of holding records. I think you should. Yeah, you can keep yeah. track. I'll 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 catch up at some point when there's like a big battle. You are in a castle, so I guess there are a lot of bums I could have already described. Um, so, a lot of stairs, so it's a lot of good bumps. Yeah. <laughs> Plus stair work. Plus the mud that you gotta traipse through and all the muck right, and everything. I mean, yeah. That really develops the glutes. It's true. Um, we've also joined the compound network, so let me do my little thing here. Oop, that didn't work. I've got a letter. Um, they are an amazing group of local uh, South Coast Massachusetts um, 3D printers, uh, mini painters. There's Counterclockwise, who runs a local game here in New Bedford area. And then, of course, the Compound, who you should go over and follow them. 
we met up with James today at my house and had a long talk about about the future of this whole thing and how well it's going. And so um, there'll be more to come over over time as we keep collaborating and things continue to progress. Um, but in the meantime, check out those uh, those channels, those Instagrams, um, Patreons, and uh, give them a, a follow. We also have Fires of Athlean in the house. Um, did share the Kickstarter that is underway, so please go ahead and click on that. And um, Ian, throughout the stream, feel free anytime you want. Just share share the Kickstarter link and um, make sure people are seeing it. We're we are totally cool with anybody sharing links um, to their own creative stuff or um, their friends' creative stuff in our chat and on our Discord. Awesome. Um, is there anything else? Oh, uh, there is a shirt back here. So one of the shirts we will be giving away um, is, was made by our own Arik, uh, or Roy, at his place of business, Luca B. Signs and Apparel, which is located in Taunton. Um, there will, hopefully will be more to come in terms of shirts and everything. Um, that will be created, especially with maybe the compound. We'll see, fingers crossed, if it all works out. Uh, so please go ahead and check them out if you're fairly local and you need apparel or signs made. And Roy is on his way and I can see his thing starting. There he is. Hey, what's up guys? Hey. Sorry, I'm late. No problem. We're just getting through all the announcements that we do. So, um, for those of you who did not get to check it out, our latest session was a couple of days ago, and it was a flashback, backstory, uh, building uh, session, just a duet between myself and Zan, and it went really well. It also gives a, a good, um, a good solid kind of base for uh, the beginning of Zan 2020. Um, and just a, a different look at the character since he is just a, a different human being, what we'll say. He wasn't used to Zan rolling like me. Yeah, he didn't. He did not Oh my god, him. I know. I was like, oh my gosh. Does he have his eyes like tied? Like, what's going on? <laughs> It, it it was worse than first level because everything was even below first level because it was so long ago. Yeah. It, it was like, oh wow, I forgot what it's like at the beginning. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, it was. I feel like I rolled a five. They're like, re-roll. I roll a three. I roll a six. <laughs> <laughs> like, three re-rolls. All the things re -rolls. Do this, add this, still didn't matter. No, it was all threes and fives and fours. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh... Like, it was Negazan. I had to take the, um, the first level stats and lower them even further because he was 15. So, right. this was, like, 13-something years ago. So, um, so yeah, it was a challenge, but he also was only facing, like, wolves, and... So, it, it was, uh... There was a lot of improv going on. Because <laughs> when I did my test, you like annihilated the wolf real quick, and I was like, "Oh, that that might work out." And then, in real life, you rolled threes and fives, so it. Uh... Yeah, <laughs> of course. It was really good though. It was super entertaining. Good. It was. I was like really listening, and I was just like, "Oh my god, what's gonna happen?" It was a lot of fun. It was. It was. It was fun to listen to. I really liked it. Hmm. All right. So, um, I'm going to roll into our bums intro, and then we will begin tonight's session. Yay! Oh!
yeah. I've read on Reddit. Yes. <laughs> Yes, yeah. it's a god. <laughs> so, okay, well, it's many levels that away. Me, that just made me so anxious. Yeah, it's, no, it's, <laughs> I, I, you guys it's are so far away, and I'm already like, oh my god, oh my god, how do I expect you to do that? My stomach just turned. I was like, oh my god. yeah. I, I I was on I'm a subreddit. Afraid. It was like, it was like, what was your like um first character death or, or best character death and like several people were like consumed by Tiamat <laughs> yeah um, I won't lie to you guys uh, that it is very likely at the end which is many many <laughs> many <Okay>. levels away <laughs> you will, don't do it Liz. you will don't <laughs> say it <laughs> you will be you will be fighting a god and there is a very good chance that you will not all make it out. So what's the point of this game? So we could just die? <laughs> so you gotta kill, <laughs> you gotta save everybody else. <laughs> we could just live this long, protective life and then die! <laughs> oh, she's Liz, Liz, There's distract everyone. Right you have to distract yeah, us. Distract us all. It's gonna go south. Don't let Mickey give up tonight. <laughs> Don't give up. You're only level five. Sorry. She's having an she's having an existential crisis. Abaddon, you have a reroll. What is the point? Huh? You have a reroll available to you this this session. Just make a note. All right. Okay. Some, uh, Me? Yeah, Fires of Apolline just gave you a reroll. To Abaddon. Thanks, baby. Thanks, baby. <laughs> wow. Thinks you're pretty. I mean, he ain't wrong, but <laughs> still. It's all, it's the horns and the teeth. People love no, the horns and the teeth. I'm saying, your hairdo kind of looks like horns tonight. Like the way you got it put up like that, looks like that's what you're going for. Some horns. Just just wait till Halloween. No, I know. Oh God. I sent you those horns on the on the on the Etsy. Okay, so I'll do I'll do the um. Uh, I'll do a recap Etsy. on the Etsy <laughs> from the Facebook. Uh, so uh, we rejoin the bums uh, deep within the mirror of dead men, currently traipsing about within the castle Naritar after um, following some lizard folk who were trans or were supposed to be transporting uh, loot that has been stolen from various. Towns. I don't know why. Why is everybody so quiet? The audio is very quiet. Hold on. Uh, you have a master control switch. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, okay. All right. Let's see. I'm turning this up. Okay, so. Oh my god. Can you guys hear it anymore? No. Nope. Imagine if we did. <laughs> it was never a problem. Yeah. Well, no, like, I, could, I can still hear it very slightly, but obviously if it doesn't bother you, that's what matters. <sighs> so you are within Good. the castle Naritar after having followed uh, some lizard folk um, and yeah. making a deal with a lizard folk named uh, Snap, or, or lizard fuck as we decided, named Snapjaw, who has decided that he will um, spread the word amongst his people as you go through castle Naritar trying to figure out where the loot is going and what your next steps are in terms of determining what the cult of the dragon is up to. Um, when we last left off, you had just had a dinner or a kind of, you know, maybe a meal anyway, sometime between lunch and dinner um, with the other cultists that were in the room after pretending to be cultists. Issa had left you uh, to go do who knows what, try to figure out how to transport the cash you had given her and um 
you <laughs> you saw uh, the leader of the cultists in this particular castle, uh, Dralmor Born Grey, who is an elf uh, with a an eye patch, who gave this long droning on prayer. Meanwhile, Asbara Asbara Jos, who was a uh, I joined your caravan along with Issa, and who she said was a red wizard. He also came in, now very clearly wearing his red wi wizard robes, with showing his head covered in tattoos and his neck. Um, and he recognized you and kind of gave a little, like, follow me, please, look without saying anything at all to your group. Um, Zan and Erdnot tried to sneak through to go... Uh, have a conversation or find Asbar Jos. Um, didn't work out as the uh, the area was being guarded by some guard breaks, which Erdnot saw and was able to escape from, but Zan flung himself forward into um, the little tower area there. Meanwhile, the rest of you were assigned to clean out your future bedroom, which is infested with giant centipedes in a room that they just had left um, left alone, probably because of the centipedes. But since you're here and you're newbies, you can go ahead and um, clean it out. So that is where we, re we rejoin you and we will actually pick up where I'm going to switch over to Foundry for you guys. Um, So, we pick up within the uh, two separate areas here, the entire rest of the party is in the uh, tower room below the area where you guys had gone upstairs to chat, um, and you are setting forth, clearing out... <laughs> The room from uh, giant centipedes. Meanwhile, we're going to start actually with Zan, who is currently finding himself um, in a small room here in this keep, the center area, um, and the entrance that you had to step up to step up into is raised about three steps above the level of the inner ward, and there is a. Uh, a small version, it looks like a small version of the Great Hall with a few tables and benches that don't really appear to be used. And then there is a, a staircase that leads up to another floor. But then also um, you see this open door here, which I just closed, but it is open. And as you're standing there, kind of catching your breath from and hearing the sounds of the guard drakes that had at first been slamming against the the wall um you hear the sounds of uh you can't speak draconic correct Sam? no i can't okay. so you hear like no. the kind of rough sounds of lizard folk calming down the guard drakes that um are out there and um then you also hear a voice come from the room with the open door um, and it says there's a cricket in here <laughs> <laughs> says uh, please come join me what do you do? seeing as how he already knows I'm here ah! Xander will walk up to the door and look in okay so looking in, um, you s actually feel like some warmth coming out of this uh, out of this room. Uh, you do see Asbara Joe standing at the far end of the room um, on the other side of some some chairs and um, a table there, uh, and he's just kind of standing there and there is some warmth that is emanating which is a, a good a nice feeling compared to the rest of the castle that you have been through so far which is like damp and muggy but also pretty cool 
Um, and he just stands there with a, a friendly smile on his face, and then he gestures towards like one of the seats that you can see in the room. Um, I I just can't move Xander in there. The the game's paused. Oh right. Oops. Yeah. yeah, I keep saying it's yeah, collides like with one wall. Um, right. so you move. stop running into the wall, Zan. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling a, well, I would say Ben. Nobody, nobody sees what this kid does. He pretends to be like a comic, <laughs> uh, like a, a video game character, and he'll just kind of like walk into the wall, like against it in place, like like he's in Resident Evil Two or something. Um. <laughs> anyway, so. <laughs> the things kids do so um, you walk into this room uh, as I said it is more cozy than the rest of the area um, that you have been in so far and again Asbar Jos is there and he he's just standing there in these red robes with this like big headpiece that's attached to the robe um, like flaring out behind I can actually show you what he looks like um and he's again just a a, a a general kind of smile on his face, um, and his arms, his hands are clap, like rejoin and clasp in front of his body, um, and he says, "Please, sit." Uh, Xander will walk up to the chair, and then justify him to sit first. All right, so. Asbara walks over and he sits down kind of across from you um, for, from your perspective but in that purple on that purple seat there um, and he just sits down and he says um, so I am Asbara Jos and your name you can call me Xander Xander I remember you from the caravan. It appears that you are not simply a hired guard, and it's obvious that you are not actually part of the cult. So, before I get ahead of myself, can I offer you some tea? And he, like, waves his hand, and this tea kettle and tea cup with steaming um, steam coming out of it appears on the table and he gestures for you staying like you know not approaching you in any way or you know lunging or moving too quickly he's just kind of like whoop, here it is and whoop, there it is and if you want it you can have it <laughs> Xander will take it but not drink okay So may I ask, who are you exactly? I have your name, but why are you here? I'm here because I'm curious of what's going on. I've noticed strange things. Like? Strange men all coming and going together and for some reason that escapes me can't figure out what you're doing here and your friends I recognize you all of course are you part of an organization perhaps we're just curious people. This is quite a far way to go, just to answer some curiosities. And a very dangerous trek. I I don't believe that for a second, Xander. What's most curious, if you recognized all of us, why haven't you alerted anyone? Well, 
I suppose it depends on what your motivation is. As to whether or not I will alert anyone. What do you know about this organization here? All I know is they seem to be collecting lots and lots of treasure. Can't figure out why. Who sent you? Nobody sent us. Make a deception check. Ooh, this ain't gonna be good. I might, I might get lucky. Come on. It's all right. You're not little Zane no more. You're big boy Zane. Big boy Zane is big boy roll. You got That's, this. Look at a that. Fifteen for Xander. That's, That's not bad. Section. It's not bad. Hey, be happier to not turn back. <laughs> <laughs> They're all very happy. Or not like this race and he would have been just like, hey. Oh, I would have played this so differently. <laughs> So, what would you have done? Um, as Barrow looks at you and he just kind of nods a little bit. So maybe no one sent you, but you've been following this ragtag group for months. I don't believe for a moment that you don't know anything. What do you know? As you can tell, I'm not much of a liar, so all we know is we were in a city that they sacked with a dragon. Ah, uh, yes. Lenathon, the blue, that could have been greenest, it could have been several others that they have gone through. And what else? We followed them all the way here. They scattered. Just been following. They're not the most discreet bunch of people. So I ask you again, Xander. What is your motivation? Six people following this cult. You have to have a motivation other than getting yourselves killed. We know, we think we know what they're planning. They're planning to raise the dragon goddess Tiamat. And he nods. That they are. And unfortunately, they are well on their way. Unfortunately. Well, and he kind of leans back a little bit, looks, he looks around, then he kind of waves his hand and the door behind you closes. I'm sure you've heard of the old adage, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. We may have similar motivations here. Interesting. So Xander, I'll tell you this. You likely have only a few minutes before Born Grey returns from his meeting with Resmir. What you seek may be upstairs from this room. I suggest you move quickly. All right. And what do you want in return? I want nothing. Can I insight check him? Yep. 
See if he's lying. Oh, that's a five. <laughs> His face is stone. You can't read anything. He wants nothing. I suggest you hurry. Xander, without saying another word, stands up, heads towards the stairs. All right. So we will return to you in a moment. Um, let's switch over to the group here. So, um, it is so good, Zan made it to that door. So if he didn't, and <laughs> or not did, that would have went way different. Probably would have gone way worse. Yeah, <laughs> you, you sound very confident. <laughs> oh no, I mean, I mean, it would have went way different, as in like, Zan did great in that situation, or not would have gone belligerent. Right. That's what I'm And it would not have probably, probably have gone, gone I mean, <laughs> Don't send Zane, not uh, go don't belligerent. send Erd not on, on diplomacy. No, you're yeah, in the middle I mean... you're in the middle of enemy territory with hundreds of bad guys around you. Probably wanna go Might <laughs> <laughs> It would have been that, that Spider Man meme where like they're both pointing at each other. Like that that just would have summed up Erdnot's meeting if he had if he had been the one that went there instead. So <laughs> let's thank the stars it was not. <laughs> Alright, so we are moving back to um you guys. Fighting some centipedes, millipedes. Yes. So, you guys um, are back over in the room, uh, drawn your swords, and um, we're going to handle this in a kind of like a different way. Um, everybody roll, everybody roll initiative, so put yourself into combat state and roll initiative. Uh. Oh, no. That's cool. The things are actually bigger now. They're very big. What's big? I don't see anybody else. I just see my icon. Yeah, everybody's in the Am same I supposed spot. To be like... That's why. Oh. Yeah. So, of course, I roll a fucking six. <sighs> Damn. All right, everybody roll. <laughs> Nat 20. <laughs> this, music, this music is music. Why is it going to be for initiative, though? Like, Very epic for like fighting centipedes. <laughs> I know. I roll a Nat 20. I mean, it doesn't happen every day. Don't be mad. <laughs> Abaddon, if you go into the combat tracker, yeah. go over to the right, go where the fist is, click on that. You'll see that you have a button you can press to roll. You'll see the die. <laughs> Click on that. Oh. There you go. Oh. Boo. All right. Boo. Somebody rolled less than I did. So, <laughs> yes, this is, this is pretty epic music for the fact that, like, so you all kind of, like, stand in the doorway as the, as the dwarf, the dwarven cultist came over, led you in, and she's like, all right, here you go. And then she walks away. Um, you... You kind of look around and and this, these centipedes are like just nasty and they're like all crawling on the walls and this is less of a an epic battle of you killing these centipedes and more of a this is going to be an opportunity for you all to kind of chat a little bit while you exterminate some bugs <laughs> so um oh. vadanya you are up so what you can do, you guys can still do your actions, but essentially, like, how do you, it, you're just going to be killing centipedes in this room. So it's going to be kind of almost like an initiative conversation. Since you guys are in the middle of this situation and you have, you know, a few minutes to chat about what it is that you want to do next. And um, so, 
Adanya, how do you kill? So are we? Are we gonna be? Are we gonna be rolling for attack? Yeah, or I'll have like you guys that? roll for or for no? damage more, just to do it. Oh, um, okay. So Vidanya, how are you gonna kill your first centipede? Um, I'll just use my short sword. Um. Oh right, shit. That work? So you can just roll for damage. Ow. There you go. There you go. So, uh, your short sword. So you walk up and um, you see this long centipede like crawling up a along the side of the wall, uh, right near the door, and you come over and you hadn't seen one of these, maybe ever, but at least in a long time. And so as you're kind of like looking at the entire body, you can see the different segments of the centipede. And very interestingly, no bum. There is a little, little <laughs> kind of like nub at the end. And as you're looking at it, you're like, I guess that could, could be that. I mean, everything shits, so it's got to come out somewhere. And you're kind of looking at it and then you're like, nah. And you slice down the side of it, and it goes and flops down onto the ground. Do you have any? How are you? Do you have anything you want to Got say? Bomb now. Yeah, gross. Anything you want to say? Um. Do you come in? I'm still. I'm still. Um. Really upset about what I heard about my sister. So I just say, um. Guys, did you hear that? What do you... How do you... The only thing it's going to affect our... Like, what if she sees me? She's a badass now. She's going to try to kill us. <laughs> Are we allowed to respond or not until our turn? Um, yeah, we'll go with uh, your turn. So, Micaiah is up next, I think. Yeah. Yes, I am. I'm going to just... Hope that worked. I don't know if it rolled it. You so if you go into the thing, you can just roll the piercing damage. Oh, here we go. All right. Oh. So okay. how are you doing it with your thorn whip? Thorn whip. Yeah. All of a sudden, I whip out my thorn. Whip. Cut whip. It is a very cool. And as I do it, I'm just like, you know, Badania, I understand about your sister, but right now, I'm a little bit more upset about my boyfriend, who can't even be in public, because he's like the reason that we're even down here on a stupid centipede. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then I just throw one with it. It sounds like she's shooting like a suppressed weapon when she talks. <laughs> yeah, your mic is, is, is like kind of like music. cutting it out. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, she's mad. That's what a thorn whip is. Yeah, I'm mad. That's right. She's, she's reloading the thorn <laughs> So you, So, Micaiah creates this long, vine like whip covered in thorns, and it lashes out at, the, at one of the other um, giant centipedes, which it cuts it like in half, like crack, and the thing like. Cuts in half. One half falls on one side and keeps crawling, and the other half flops down. Um, Erdnot, you're up. Um, Erdnot uh, puts his uh, hammer away uh, on his uh, hammer loop on his belt, so he takes out his hand axe and a short sword, so he can do two weapon fighting and take out two okay. creepy crawlies at a time. Uh, so. I'll swipe with that. I'll swipe with that. Um, so that was the yeah, hand axe. <laughs> and the short sword. Okay. So you go after um, the, the second half of the one that Micaiah just got, but she, she only got like the first section of it. Um, and double stab it as it's running away. What do you want to say? Uh, turns to Vidanya and says, I don't understand. Kin. Kin is 
thicker than blood, thicker than rock. Why would she threaten you? Oh, by the way, where Zan went, there was guard drakes. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Arak is gonna pull his, uh, his hand axe and... Uh, he's gonna attack two also, but he's so he's gonna go after one with his hand axe, and he's just gonna like smash another one, like if it's on the wall, just like, with a fist. Um, so we're gonna uh, yeah. yeah. Why is it not having the rope? There it is. Damage. It's four. Yeah. And unarmed street. So you smash one of them into pieces with your hand axe. The other one, you punch, and it's kind of like squealing a little bit as it gets uh, smushed, and like some of its guts have come out the sides and everything, but it's still there. What are you, what are you contributing to the conversation? Well, just, just, <laughs> just gonna, just gonna roll his eyes at Micaiah and just say, uh, that was a distraction, so our whip his head over at Erna. So he didn't get seen. He wasn't supposed to go. It was supposed to be Vidanya. supposed to be V. <clears throat> All right. And that, he's going to say that as he's just <laughs> repeatedly smashing with his fist, this, this one screaming centipede. All right, Avedon. Don't cast oh fireball. Oh my god. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Cast it on yourself. Uh, <laughs> it's, wait, it's, it's still a 20 all. Foot, it's a 20 yeah. foot radius. How many uh, centipedes are there right now? Um, there's still a good. She's like, I didn't ask how big the room is. I said, cast <laughs> fireball. <laughs> uh, she's gonna try to take one as a pet. This, Why are we pretending like she's not gonna like get one on her shoulder? Look at Vidanya, like, you have a golden dog, but I have a centipede. <laughs> <laughs> there are about nine of them still. There's still yeah. mine. Um, are they? Do they look like they're just running away? Do they? Are they scared of us yet? <laughs> they're um, they're starting to react to the fact that they're being killed. It's hard to say. Um, some of them might come at you. Some might not. <laughs> okay. Is there anything within my range? Well, okay. I'll just cast a uh, chill touch, chill touch on a um, on one okay. of them. You can just roll for damage. Oh no! My fa- my foundry closed. Oh crap! Oh, it didn't. Yeah, sorry. Here, I'll I'll roll your damage for you. Okay, I'm just logging back in. It's weird. So you cast chill touch, and. Let's see, what's that at? Uh, here we go. It should be a... Um, 1d8 um, necrotic. One. So you're a little bit distracted <laughs> as you... Um, this is the one with the skull that pops up, right? Let's see. You see it goes... Uh, uh, the hand. Yeah. Um, so this hand yep. reaches out and tries to grab one of the... Um, one of the centipedes, but only just manages to catch the tail end, the ass end, if you will, of it, and it too many legs. <laughs> takes one point. I, I won't say I was going for that. But... <laughs> yeah. I feel like Chill Touch never has it's worked. It's a cantrip. For you. Cantrips are. <laughs> yeah. Don't... It's a low yeah. level. You know. Um, yeah. Is Eldritch, Eldritch Blast is a first can... level, right, or is it a cantrip? It's a oh. cantrip. Oh, that's a cantrip as well. Oops, I accidentally deleted that. But it's like the warlock's primary yeah. thing. Like it gets fucking powerful as like you advance and get new options to shit to do with it. So Abaddon, you um, you just kind of barely clip the end of, of that one. Uh, what what uh what are you saying? I'm gonna say. Can we focus, please? We need to get Zan out of this predicament. We don't know what's going on. All right. All right. So, um, as you guys are all like slicing and everything, 
you start to get like little nibbles here and there. So the the um, the giant centipedes they seem to be turning on you. Some of them, like probably about half of them. Um, some are biting, stinging. There's all this like you're kind of like ah, like each of you actually in this round takes four points of um, piercing damage from these as they start to turn on you all. Um, all of you actually get hit. I don't know why I rolled as or not. I think it's because I have you targeted and I didn't need to do that. But anyway, you can't see them, so that's fine. Um, so four points of damage to everybody as the centipedes are turning on you, biting, nibbling, stinging with like their little pincers. Um, all right, now we're at the top of the round with Vidanya. Um, all right, I'll just take a another whack at him. Whack him off. Whack him off. Whack him off real quick. All right. Another one. You slice through like your anxiety and and a little bit of anger there coming through as you slice another one in half off the wall. <laughs> what do you say? Um. What the hell is Zan thinking just running into that hallway? <laughs> And nobody answered my question. <laughs> <laughs> Let's deal with these squirmy guys, and then we'll find him. We'll help Dan. All right, Micaiah, you're up. Another thorn whip. Rage sticker. Where did it go? Rain. I don't know why it's only showing 1d6 though. It should be 2d6. Is it? Because at level 5, it says you get another one. So I don't know why. When you I roll it on to... here. Oh, yeah, you probably have to I don't know why. update it because it doesn't know that you're 5th level. So you can, um, uh, you can roll another one. How do I do that? Oh. Down on the bottom there. I realized that last time I was like, oh, oh yeah. Oh, shit. All right. This one just like explodes. Like you take the whip and, and then it just is like 12 points of friggin' damage on this thing. Um, shit. Is that what she said? Shit. Jeez. Ah, it's more like <laughs> shit. Oh, that's messy. What do you mean about Zan? What about Zan? I thought we were talking about ignorant behavior. Where, where does Zan go? I don't know what y'all are talking about, Zan. <laughs> We were seeing, is she drunk? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I never saw her. I was busy paying attention to boyfriend. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Didn't Zan roll like a twenty or something? Yeah, he, he rolled really high. Makaya is just now no now realizing Zan, Zan is gone. not in the room. <laughs> yep. Fully focused on on our being an idiot. Didn't even notice. All right, or not? Uh, Mickey got into the keg. <laughs> yes. He requires a lot of attention, you know. Right or not, you're up. Delicate flower. All right. All right. Eight and oh, eight. Shit. So two separate ones. You just easily smash on top of the head, and they are moving no more. Yeah. Uh, oh, I was gonna say. Um... Zan's a big lad. He can take care of himself. Sneaky bastard. You think these things taste good when they're cooked? <laughs> All right, you're up. <laughs> yeah, only on a stick. What did you say? Oh, I heard. You know what I said. <laughs> not, not on his stick. Only if they're cooked. <laughs> oh my god. The what? The we're gonna get banned from Twitch now. <laughs> it's my beams. It's my beams. My beams are low. <laughs> Maybe. The one he has pinned that's still kind of alive, he's gonna take the, uh, the hand axe and he's gonna take the head off. And then with his, with his, uh, he's gonna hit another one with it. And then he's gonna take the one that he cut the head off and he's gonna look at it for a second and he's gonna try to take a bite of it. And then he's gonna throw it to Erdnot. Make a con save. <clears throat> and then, absolutely. <laughs> Don't you try to kiss me with those lips 
later. Oh, I just I wanted to see I wanted Look, to see what would happen. Where's the garlic bread? Oh I God. wanted to see what would happen. Oh, a two. <laughs> That's so not good. <laughs> I know yeah, they're probably. So. Oh, oh, I was gonna spit it out. Anyway. You take this bite, and and like immediately, like almost in a fluid motion, like bite and go to throw it, and this the taste that is in your mouth is so it's like a combination of of the texture and the flavor that gets to you like immediately it's it's this like runny almost like egg white type like feeling like texture but then the taste is is like like if you had put a handful of grass in your mouth and and like that milky white stuff that comes out and like stinky feet and like all the most <laughs> disgusting things and you immediately throw up on the ground like <laughs> with, with the two you put it you go to throw it and then you're like <laughs> yeah well I'm gonna have to look right at I'm gonna as I do that my eyes aren't leaving bird knots <laughs> like, I'm gonna take I really a wish you were not gonna respond right now oh <laughs> just God. and just <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> but the entire yeah. time, just staring right at Erdnot. So right in his eyes. So, Erdnot, you have your answer. Like, almost, almost, almost daring him. Almost daring him to take a bite. <clears throat> Alright, next up. And then, oh, go ahead. Wow. Oh, you were gonna discuss. <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted to do something interesting. No, no, go ahead. Oh. <laughs> Is that it? This got sexy real fast. <laughs> yeah, no, sorry. Abaddon, it's your turn. It's, uh, no, that's... your turn to, to button it okay. up. I thought he... I wasn't sure if he was still puking or... <laughs> he kind of still is. <laughs> it's all kind of happening at the same is time, there... so... <laughs> that's so gross. Okay. Um, is there anything... Um, are there... <laughs> there are a couple more. There's, like, three, three more. Is there anything close enough for me to grab? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are just kind of fluidly right, moving so... through this room. It's not too, too big. Okay. So I'm going to cast, um, uh, shocking graphs <laughs> on whatever is the closest to me. Okay. All right, five lightning. So you reach out, grab this uh, this giant centipede, um, and it fizzles as the shock runs through its body. It's still still there, but not looking great. <sighs> okay, and then I'm gonna say. <laughs> still throwing up in that whole six seconds. <laughs> and then I'm gonna say <clears throat> are we playing this game out and waiting for him to come back to us alright Vidanya you're up oh wait no sorry it's the it's the thingies hold on oops can at least one of them be at disadvantage by being thrown up on <laughs> yes <laughs> have it slip in the bottom Yes. I was thinking, I was like, somewhere on the other side of the continent, Garaxis Cyan Rath <laughs> just had like, like, a, like he felt something in the, in the ether. He's like, huh? Someone somewhere is eating something. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably a true statement, given how big the world is. Uh, so, Vidanya, um, you're the only one who takes another, you feel like at your feet, uh, some pincers pierce through your boot and you take two points of piercing damage as another one comes up and just bites you. Um, and now it is your turn to follow up on that. Okay, I'm gonna stab it. <laughs> <laughs> and I just remembered I'm supposed to have two okay, attacks. Okay, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> um, long day. Long day. <laughs> All right. Someday I'll remember. It's 
something. So this one <laughs> bites you, and then you're like, ah, ah, into its head, and it's dead. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> um, to Avdon, I just say, I think Xan will be fine on his own, but we should definitely maybe search for him a little bit after this. <laughs> <laughs> Great, Micaiah. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> I feel like Micaiah should be wearing a Yoshi costume. Like, she's already green, like, <laughs> wearing the, the green hoodie. It's like, I we need... Game 7 yesterday, got support. <laughs> I should be a Yoshi costume, though. That'd be great. Yoshi has a long tongue. Be very useful. <laughs> 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 Waiting for someone to comment on that. I'm like, I'm not gonna. What? Well, I will go there if nobody went there, but. <laughs> That's what she. It's said. good for eating apples. <laughs> what do you mean, guys? <laughs> All right, Makaya, you're up. Oh, I'm up. All right. I didn't even know there was any of these fuckers left. I got. This. Mickey, Mickey, lick him to death. Oh, use, use no, that song. No, let me do. Don't do it. Don't do it. I mean, my constitution and your constitution are two different things. <laughs> All right. Just gonna keep thorn whipping these fuckers. All right. All right. Seven. Seven. Mm-hmm. And it looks like there's only one left. So what are you saying? Oh, shit. What am I saying? I'm saying we should look for him a lot a bit. We need to go find Zan. <laughs> these stupid freaking centipedes. I mean, I wouldn't have been fighting these things if y'all had told me he was missing in the first place. Jesus. <laughs> All right, heard not. <laughs> Jesus, a new, there's a new god in the pantheon. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> All right, yeah. It's the last one in the room. As it's skittering around, you just destroy it completely. I, I lift my boot and I go, God damn it, boy, we need to sleep in this room. And don't you know anything? You need to cook bugs before you eat them. <laughs> that was a That's... lot of puke. <laughs> <gasps> Don't say it. <laughs> That's what it said. I can still There's feel two. it a little. Forget about <laughs> kissing you. I'm not even going to sleep next to you tonight. That's your fault. There's too many eyes on us right now. We can't be running all over the place going into doors we aren't supposed to be going into with guard drakes. Not yet. Zan will find his way back. Uh, you just did that. <laughs> what are you I talking about? I didn't know there drinks in there. <laughs> yeah, but I can. I got past without a trace. I mean, we can go right by them now that you know where they are. We gotta go find them. Wait, are we out of initiative? Yes, you are out. That was I the mean, last one. Or not smashes the last one against the the uh, wall with his <clears throat> double attack there. And um, as you guys are finishing up this conversation. Um, you hear this, like, slow clapping. It's Isa, isn't it? And you turn Isa. around. I can just picture Vidanya in character going, it's Isa. <laughs> and, yeah, Isa's in the doorway, this little, this little halfling, size of a child. A human child, sorry. Um leaning up against the door frame she's like good job so what's this about Zan looking at all of you and then we're gonna he's run off after the red wizard uh, and she her eyes kind of like if they could roll all the way in the back of, the, for, of her head they would but she's just like ugh <laughs> and then we're gonna switch back over to Zan so Zan. Before oh, we do that, is there is there anything that I are there windows in this room? No. There are no windows. Is there anything I can use to sop up the giant thing of of, of yak that I just? <laughs> no, you have to sleep in it. <laughs> <laughs> That's your bed. <laughs> you made your bed. This, 
<laughs> he slept in all sorts of horrible places. This wouldn't be the worst. Not there is nothing immediately in the room. You can always use something that you have on your person, but you're likely going to have to go back out to where the supplies are. Um, to bed sheets or anything or old like old rags. Yeah, there's nothing in this room in particular, but you can find that when you leave the room. Okay. Um. Sorry. Is it bedtime? No, no, it's like five or whatever time it says down there. Okay. Oh, I forgot about the clocky thing. The clocky thing. So, Zan. <laughs> Shut, <laughs> <the clock. laughs> Shut up. Shut <laughs> up. So as Barajos is sitting there on on the uh, the sofa thing, and you place down your tea that you didn't touch and uh, head towards the door. Zan is uh, once he goes through the door is going to start to head up the stairs to see what he can see. All right, let me. Um... Go to the scene and just make sure I set you up properly. Woo. Or I have you go up there. Are you heading up stealthily? Um, what are you? Yes. All right. Let me just set up your token. Whoops. So everybody out there, you can see that I am using. Uh, Boundary virtual tabletop, real quick to throw this together. Ooh, ooh. And you know what I just realized is I don't know how to just pull Zan over here. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm putting the second uh, second floor. Um available so you should be able to click on it and your navigation there up at the top and go over just then mm -hmm. but Donya you're, you're okay there you go I was gonna say I you're gonna to. you're you'll only see the, you'll only see black because I don't think that there's anything else for you to see um let me just double check oh okay yeah there is you guys are now split into multiple. Okay, so anyway, you head up the stairs. Um, sorry, you said you were going quietly, so you can roll a stealth check. All right, you feel 22. you feel like you're you're going pretty stealthily at this point, um, and you head up these stairs to this uh, common room. So you see this chamber, which is looks to be a combination of a, um, a sitting room and an office. And there's a small hearth right there uh, that is providing heat to the rest of the room. And then there's also a writing desk, a large padded chair, and a bench that are all drawn up pretty close to that hearth. Um, what do you do? Uh, Zenda is going to uh, go over to the desk and check the desk for anything that looks important, any papers or artifacts. There's also a door down this way, as you can see. Um, can you move your token, or did anything yes. happen when you did that? Um, on my screen, he's over by the okay. desk. I'm gonna move you back. So click on. Oh, click she... on the um click okay. on the desk for me first. Okay. Did anything happen? No, just turn the square blue. Oh okay. No, something did happen. Go to out of character. Chat. Oh, okay. That's cool. I'm delete these three of them because I was trying out a trigger thing. So I think when you moved on it, it also did this, or maybe when you clicked on it, either one. I forgot what what it is. But anyway, there is this note on the written on um, written in familiar handwriting that, similar to what you would, had seen the note written to Krulam back at the Raiders camp, 
that says, use this amulet to open the portal, Worm Speaker Resmir, but there is no amulet. Just the note. Okay. Um, and there's no nothing else in the desk or on the desk? Um, going through, you find um, there looks to be some more like empty uh, or blank, blank parchment, um, some ink, nothing of value in this room that you can tell. Uh, Xander's going to stealthily go over to the door. See if you can hear if there's any on the other side of the door. Fires of Athlean just gave you everybody 150 gold pieces to the party. Thank you. Wow. Oh, wow. Nice. <clears throat> oh, well, thank you. So, um, are you opening the door? Sorry. Those cultists didn't need um, I'd, I'd like to listen first, see if I can hear anything on the other side of the door. Okay. So we'll we'll say um, that as you were searching through this desk, you actually found 150 gold pieces. That makes sense. Um, in a little pouch. Well, it's it's pretty decent big uh, pouch actually. Um, stuffed underneath the uh, under the desk, kind of like there's like a secret drawer that you had found. Pulled it open, and there was this little hoard of money. Did the pouch say take me? Because I feel Zan wouldn't have taken it unless like it specifically <laughs> told him to. <laughs> yes. The, the, Don't bring it up. Verbally stated, <laughs> it verbally said it out loud. Uh, it jumped Zan into his <laughs> pocket. <laughs> Just appeared there. So, um... <laughs> Sorry, I completely lost what you said you were doing. You're just listening, or you're opening, or you're checking. Uh, I'm going to listen before right. I open the door. Um, you can make a perception check. Twelve. All right. You can place your ear against the door, and you do not hear anything. I'll, uh, I'll quietly open the door. Okay. So, um, stepping into this area, it is, uh, appears to be a, um, combination of a sleeping chamber, common, like, a sitting area for him as well. Lots of sitting areas for this guy. Um, so, you, you see a bed, um, carpet draped table with this wash basin on it, grooming supplies, comb, brush, soap, scented waters, and a stool. Um, there are rugs that actually cover most of the floor. And as you uh, enter into the room, you um, see a, uh, a cage. That is a pretty decently sized cage. Let me see if it's showing up on this map. Let's say... We'll say it's over it's over here in this room. Um and I'm gonna have you roll another this another stealth check. Oof. Ooh, that's an eight. That means I rolled a nat one. <laughs> who did what was that? Who who just made that noise? That Somebody. Somebody. <laughs> that was a, that, that was that wasn't your mouth. That was the the sound of your asshole clenching. <laughs> that <laughs> like, was that in between. There was the in between air that just that yeah. escaped once it shut. <laughs> All right. So you enter. You open the door and you um you don't notice the cage right away. But as you're stepping like over into this room. You, you become acutely aware of the cage as this raven that is standing inside of it begins to go like loud as can be. 
don't think you guys actually um, heard that. It, like, no, cut I out, couldn't hear it. It cut out. I heard it in this room, <laughs> and it was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> um, I didn't need to hear it. I just saw the <gasps> mouth. <laughs> and that was enough. Um, That's all I needed. And you, there are windows, like, slits up here. Um, and you get the impression that you, it is very loud, and you start to hear, oh man, you start to hear, <laughs> you start to hear some, um, some chatter down from the first floor, like, courtyard, and out here, oops, sorry, I'm on the first floor level again, um, out the windows, because you are in, like, the keep that goes up the center of the castle, um, and I'm going to shift back over to you guys over here. While you're in this room, Issa's like, ugh, and then, um, you start to hear the sounds of people, like, talking and stuff outside of the room. Like, what's going on? And stuff like that. Damn it, Zan, with your one. <laughs> um, so, uh, I'm gonna switch back over to the main bums. What are you doing? As Issa, like, looks at you all and she's like, holy shit. Um, and starts heading back this way. She's like, don't blow her cover. Whatever you do, just... And she starts heading back into the main area. Uh, yeah, we're gonna... We better go see what's up. Alright. So you guys all... Um, hold on, I'm just moving here. Re-enter... Uh, the main hall, and you can see some people are starting to gather. Um, the the cultists, the higher ups, like a couple of people who were still in here. There were only a few left in this room when you guys left. Sorry, my things are not working. Um, I'm gonna load a different screen. Uh. There you go. So in this room, there were only a couple of uh, the the cultists left, but you start to hear people, and as you come out into this room, you start to hear this loud squawking that is coming from outside of this room. Down through that doorway. So what are you doing? How many people are in this room right now? Uh, so... There are, like, two of the second-level guys and two or three of the other cultists, and everybody's starting to sh uh, shift out of the room. And you see the second... And where are they going? They're going out this door. Okay. And that leads to, like, a courtyard or something, right? The big right? outer ward that you guys came in, yeah. Alright. Or not... Mm. Alright. Or not wants to peek into the outer ward. And see, are there and look for? Are there any bully wogs out there? Out here, in the big area. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's, there's yeah. bully wogs. There's lizard folk. There's cultists. Everybody's starting to like look up into the tower of the keep. Um, one of the uh, second level cultists looks over at you all and is like, "Come on, let's go." Okay, no. <laughs> As we run to that door, I smack Eric and say, Want to cause a distraction and cause some bullywog troubles. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hey. So Lisa sure. heads out that door. Let's do this. Ahead of you guys. What? Which? This one down here. Can she we, heads up. Do we move our people, or do you have to you moving them? You can move. I just moved you guys to like bypass any troubles that you'd have getting out the doors, because it's a little. There you go. Okay. 
And we heard the squawking coming from this door. Ooh. This door. No, this door is closed. The squawking you heard coming down here. Out the door. Oh, by the door where everybody's yeah, the leaving. Yeah, door everybody's leaving. Yeah. I so um, when you head out into this courtyard, um, I'm actually going to switch back over to Zan. So Zan, you heard the squawking of this raven that is looking at you and just like, it is extremely loud, and you can start to hear people. There's commotion outside. So what are you doing? Um. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Uh, which uh, which room had the window? You said that there could there be... are windows like they Run away! Uh, Run away! they are kind of more like arrow slit type windows along here like there are a few of them it being a keep there like are, are a few um actually let me take a look at the picture of the castle that i have so i can get a better sense of exactly how big these windows are mm. yeah it being a keep there are like some arrow slit sized windows. Okay, so nothing big enough to be able to get through or anything? Uh, no. No. Maybe Zan can try and quiet the bird down. Kind of throw a sheet over it. Okay. That's what you're. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, grab... <laughs> so you're grabbing sheets off the bed. Yes. Okay. So, you, uh, so go ahead. You grab the sheets off the bed is, and... Is that a animal handling or anything like no, that? No, you can, just, you can just describe what you're doing. Uh, Xanda in a panic grabs the sheet <laughs> runs over, throws it over the cage. <laughs> okay. Does it? Is it still it's squawking? Still squawking. <laughs> okay. Now Santa's gonna run out of the room. <laughs> All right. Are you trying to be stealthy, or are you just looking it out of there? Uh, he's gonna. He's still gonna be stealthy to try to avoid detection. All right. So you can make a stealth check at disadvantage because you are like. Running. <laughs> this is this is awesome. All right, so you book it down, uh, trying to be. We're not even all gonna make it to get eaten by Tiamat. <laughs> trying to be quiet. Um, all right, so we're gonna go back down to that first floor. Did I uh, not put this on your... No, I did. Uh, hold on. There we go. So now you can see it, and you can click back over to it. Um, all right, so you get down to the first floor, um, and yet now it's even louder. And there, again, there are, like, these, these very... Actually, on the first floor, there's no windows. It's as you go up higher that the windows start uh, in the keep. So um, you can hear, though, that people are starting to gather outside. Um, and you also do know that those guard drakes are out there. You don't know where they so, are. Does it, sound like, but... does it sound like the people are, are outside the door, like in the courtyard or more in the, uh, the dining hall? Uh, make a perception check. Sixteen. Um, it sounds like people are out in the courtyard. Maybe all around you, um, you know, listening at the door. You can still kind of hear sounds. You don't know if it's people. You don't know if it's lizard folk or uh, the the guard drakes. But you can hear stuff going on. Here, I'm gonna bring you guys all outside. Um. All right. What are you doing? 
Um, um, are you talking about oh, him? You talking no, Zan, us? sorry. Still on Zan. Oh, it's Dan. Okay. One, I'm giving okay. him one more thing uh, before I switch over. Seeing as how it sounds like they're just outside the door, uh, Zan is going to come into the uh, other room okay. where he spoke with uh, Aspar. Um, and you do notice and... that Asbara is not there. So he's gone. Um, of course. Uh, Zan's gonna check this uh, closed door. See what's in in the other room. Trying to find a place to hide in case they come looking. Okay. Um, so still pretty warm this room. Uh, you do see uh, a bed that appears to be Asbara's bed that he's staying in in this guest room. Uh, there is also a, uh, let's see, there's a, t- a table with, um, a book on it, and that is pretty much it. It looks like it's this just guest area where Asbara appears to be, um, appears to be, oh no, sorry, I described that wrong. There is a chest over here um, that is uh, silver inlaid redwood. Um, but you're not sure if you have a moment to look at that at this time. But you do not no. see as far. Um, Alright, is there any place uh, does it look like Zan can hide? Is this like a, a wardrobe or... Um, sure, we'll say that that is, actually it looks like it's a, looks like it's a bookshelf. Yeah, that looks like a bookshelf. Alright then, uh, as bad as an idea it sounds, Zan's gonna see if he can hide under the bed. Roll a, (laughs) roll a stealth check. (laughs) Zan will be fine, they said. Don't worry about Zan, they said. (laughs) That's a 23. <laughs> that's because that's why I don't worry. Oh my gosh, that. thank God. He's not supposed to roll a one on stealth. <laughs> no, he's not. All right. I mean, technically it was still an eight, but eight is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, switching back over to the bums. So you guys are all out here in the courtyard. You can see people gathering. Um, the cultists are, hold on. Let me just go back to my notes. I was not expecting that, so I just need to look at my notes <laughs> real quick about what happens when that happens. Classic. The party does with the DM. <laughs> can never know what will happen. Could never guess what could happen. Um. Yes. Was the floor in here in the courtyard like muddy and slick? Yes. Was this the room where there was mud? Uh, there's mud like there's patches, mud patches. everywhere in this place on the first floor it's all been turned um, into mud yeah the whole thing is mud on the first floor pretty much um, all right following what heard not or did you have nope. something to say Go before ahead. I um, looking at Erd not and just hopefully picking up on what he's uh, putting down what he meant oh yeah um, Ara, like with everybody else, is going to come charging through that door, and he's going to come running through and slide on the mud, and just as hard as he can, the closest bullywug, he's just going to just pack his shoulder and just shoulder check the hell out of it, like, accidentally. But, like, he can't stop because of the the slippery floor. So he was running, and then smash. All right, so I'm going to have you do a performance what the hell was that I don't know what was that I heard it too oh, that, that was you exhaling your <laughs> um that wasn't me a performance check oh, and then an unarmed strike ah oh, fuck I thought it was gonna get it looks like it was around level 20 it was. and then an unarmed yeah. strike uh do I have uh, to, to hit where does the performance Shit. <laughs> so here's what happens. I just went careening into the wall. <laughs> so 
So you you meant to do everything that you just said, but instead you were like, okay, this is what I'm gonna do, and you go running, like you're going to, you know, slide, but you trip, fall straight forward, <laughs> and kind of like a slip and slide, you slide forward probably about <laughs> ten feet, and the bullywug is there, and it hops out of the way, and you <laughs> knock into Erdnot, who then Erdnot, you I... need to make. <laughs> I was. Well, I was ahead of- I ran ahead of him. Oh, okay, right? so, so then you knock into Issa. Issa okay. yeah. is going uh -oh. to try to make a deck save. She's gonna be mad. She's gonna be pissed at you, dude. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Roll me a D100. Oh. I want to see who you knock into. Because there's so many people out there. Uh, okay. You better not hit me. Thompson. Well, I wouldn't hit anyone in the party because I'm the first one to the door. But, of course, I'm gonna hit, like, the most important person. You know, like, the big, like, friggin... Big what's his wig. name? The, elf, the big elf the guy, or whatever the hell he was. No, so you go Born. sliding forward, and you... There's a lizard folk who turns, like, just as you're coming at him. <laughs> um, and now that lizard folk is going to make a... Deck save. Real quick. Okay. Oh, they do not have. Oh. They don't have. How did this happen? Plus zero. Um, and you knock into their feet, and they go flipping backwards onto their back. Um. Hmm. This went south real quick, everybody. I. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. The roll. The the um. Well, we all the, the, wanted to do cool <laughs> things, but it just the rolls just completely fucked that all up. The the in our bag of holding the like cult second level thing that we have. Um, is it like made of gold or silver? Has it is it have any value to it? We have two brooches, second level brooches, the blue ones. Right. So, like, are they like inlaid with like actual gold or or anything of value? Uh, I know they have a blue stone. Yeah, you uh, you didn't look at it long enough to know, and in this moment, you don't have time to know. Unless you're gonna go looking in the bag right now. I wanted to. So, what I wanted to do. I wanted to grab it out of the bag and. I was assuming it had like gold on it or something, and then I was going to go chase down and punch a bullywug and say, "He's trying to steal this." <laughs> All right, if that's what you do, you just said that that's what you're doing. So, uh, roll that's me. What I wanted to do. That's... <laughs> if it's not valuable. I don't want to do it. That you, you just. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> We're already deep in the shit. Is that what you're doing? I can't give you any information that's... on the value of it. That's done. It's All already right, it's done. 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 So. Oh, what are we doing? Or not. This is a clown <laughs> show now. Roll, <laughs> Play the Benny Hill music. Roll a deception check. Or actually, roll a performance check. Sorry. You can roll a performance check as well. I mean, I mean, Zan only accidentally kicked over the can of gas. You guys are now throwing matches. <laughs> 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 Uh, so, Erdnot, as you watch our go, go to run, and then he goes, oh, flip, slides forward, knocks over a lizard folk on this, on this mud, who's like, goes back. Uh, you reach out, run over to Avedon, reach into the bag of holding, pull out one of the things, um, and actually, let me see. All right, pull out the uh, the brooch <laughs> uh, and yell. I'm gonna zoom in the direction of one of the two, one of the. Uh, I just, level. I just look at the closest bullywug and yell, and just point at him and go, thief. <laughs> uh, and so Red and um, Evander, who are there in the courtyard kind of still trying to figure out what's going on they look over 
and they see you holding this this thing and like one of them they, they can't see the gem color from where they're standing they're several feet away so they like look down and they can see that theirs is there um and then evander comes over to you you can still hear the squawking up above um and as this is happening You do also see coming out from a door down down here uh, to the east, which is the south on your map. Uh, a door opens, and you see um, that elf that you had been that had given the big prayer and everything, Dralmor or Horn Gray, who is clearly like leading this, um, steps out, and behind him. You see, for um, the first time very clearly, Resmir, Wormspeaker Resmir, a black dragonborn with horns. Um, she is um, wearing her ceremonial purple robes. And hold on, sorry, getting her. This is, this is the character artwork. So she's got her horns that come out the side, and she's wearing these these purple robes. Um, and she is following behind uh, Born Gray, and they're both walking out into the courtyard, looking around at everyone as this commotion is happening. Uh, Evendor comes over to you, Erdnot, and says, Give me that, please. Takes it. He says, Please, but he just takes it from you. Um, and looks at it, <laughs> and these are blue, correct? Yes. All right. So he looks at it, and he, and then he looks at you, Erdnot, and then this Bullywug is kind of standing there, looking like a little bit confused and like croaking, and then others are starting to croak around. And um, he says, "Where did you get this?" And he looks at you, Erdnot, when he says that. I saw this creature right here trying to make off with it. He must have caused the distraction so no one would see him leave. And, um, Born Gray, as he's walking up, and Evandor is like, Someone shut that bird up! And Born, Born Gray comes up and he was like, That bird is named Eli. And you will do best to hold your tongue. And Evandor is like, I apologize, Born Gray. It's squawking. It's very confusing. All of this going on. We have a thief in our midst, and he points at uh, one of the bullywugs. And Born Gray stepping forward. Resmir is like looking around at everyone as she steps forward, and she is pretty imposing. Like even, even um, like larger than Cyanrath was. She's very tall and. Those horns that come around the front, um, they look extremely sharp and like she could kind of gore you if she ran at you hard enough. Um, and Born Grey comes around and he says, Eli only alerts me when someone has entered my room. So I would suggest you send someone up there and figure out what's going on. And um, Evandor is like, of course, of course, Born Let's go, go, and he's pointing at you all, uh, all of you, not Zan, but the rest of you, go, head in, and, um, and then a couple of other, uh, lesser cultists who accompany you on the way, um, and Born Grey, and, uh, let's see, Issa stays behind. She kind of, like, is standing off to the side, trying not to be too associated with you guys. Um, and as you see... I wonder, I wonder why. And you see <laughs> Resmir standing there, looking around at, at everything that's going on, looking up at the, the keep. And you all head back through here. Um, hold on, I'll move you all together. DM, but we're a, in a group of, there's a bunch of cultists or initiates here 
as well. Yeah, so you are now or with... Or just bully No, wugs. no, there's bully wugs, there's lizard folk, there's cultists, there's... Um, there's now Resmir, there's Born Grey. There are giant lizards out here in the courtyard as the lizard folk had been moving them into... This is like a crowded, huge area that spans... Mm -hmm. Let's see... It spans, I can use my measurement tool here. It's a very crowded field at the moment. Uh, it's it's like a, a it was... hundred feet across. There's a lot of people out here in this courtyard. And was everybody kind of looking toward that tower? Um, some are looking towards the tower. There are people who are entering from the entrance that you guys came from down, down to the east. Um, and to the east is where Resmir and Born Grey just came from. Uh, there's a lot of commotion. There are a lot of doors here that you guys have not had a chance to explore, so there are people coming in and out. Um, for the most part, the commotion appears to be like this whole area and looking up and hearing the, um, the raven, like everyone kind of focusing in that direction, but there are a lot of, there's a lot of moving parts in the, in the courtyard. So are we all heading up as a group? Yep, so you're kind of being well, we're, ushered. Yeah, we're ordered yeah to. <laughs> you're being ushered along at this point. Um, Born Grey is behind you. As is anyone yelling at the bully wug I tried to blame? Uh, so you see Red <laughs> Evandor passes along the thing that you gave along to Red, the other one, and, and he's like, I don't, I have to go take care of it. And she's like, I'll take care of it. And you don't know exactly what's going on with the Bollywood situation as you head back in through this door. Oops. You head back in through this door. Are we? And and then out into this courtyard area, and you can see. Oops, I have you guys covering. The, there you go. So you do see. Um, there are the three guard drakes, but they are being like kept calm at the moment by three lizard folk who are still out here in the courtyard. As you all come in, um, Born Gray steps over to this door and he doesn't open it and then he looks at you all and he's like, well, and Evandor who has followed along is like, oh great, everyone, inside and uh let's find the intruder so you all are ushered into the keep it's you two other initiates and evandor actually stands guard with born gray right here at this front door so what are you doing Sarah can't really see this room, so this is all we really... I see a stairway. Is that a table in front of me? Yeah. Um, I'm actually going to remove the, the uh, walls so that you guys can see the whole keep area. Because that will just make more sense. Okay. So, so there you go. Uh, nothing changed. What? <coughs> the walls. It was was something supposed to happen? Yeah. Uh, maybe move your token. No. The walls aren't there anymore, so it should have. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, inside, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, so. Like. Oops. All right. All right. So, what are you doing? Um, so, Arik is, Arik is gonna sweep through that room and into the next one. All right. Uh, <clears throat> and just kind of start half-heartedly searching. Can you still see? It's because you're under the bed. Right. On my screen, all the tokens disappear in the 
everything is in the shadow. Oh, okay. It makes it so you can't see. All right. So we're just going to say that you're hidden. Um, did I move you? No, that moves you out of the room. Okay, so you all, uh, uh, so Born Gray is like, check upstairs. And so the two initiates at, um, head upstairs. And then you see Born Gray looks over at you, Vidanya, and he gives you, like, well? I run off and start looking places. Upstairs? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so Vidanya heads upstairs. Everybody make an investigation check. Thirteen for me. Thirteen, thirteen, eighteen. All right. Um, Zan, make a make a perception check at disadvantage. Seven. All right. So you guys are all shuffling through Zan from under the bed. You can see, you can see legs and feet and everybody's searching through this um through this area and your your heart is pounding and you're beginning to like kind of panic underneath there um it does not appear that anybody has decided to check under the bed nope so um Vidanya, you head upstairs and uh you can hear the the Raven still squawking underneath um, as you head up, and you can see the the writing desk, um, the the hearth that has the, the heat coming off of it. Um, the initiates go into the room, and you can see that like there's a cage with the the sheet over it. Um, the blanket yeah. over it. <laughs> two of the initiates are up there, so it's these two human. Uh, Two human males. <laughs> and, and one of them looks over at the other and like someone was definitely here. They they used the sheet from the bed. Check under the bed. And so they start checking under the bed upstairs. But um uh let's see. Did we hear them say that? No, they're up there. Upstairs, the squawking is really loud. Vidanya heard them say that, but... Um, let's see here. Yeah, you guys didn't roll. Zan is hiding very well, but also can't see very well. Now. <laughs> so, let's see. Um, what's everybody doing? I'm going to give you guys one chance to kind of do a thing before I have another set of rolls. <gasps> so what what kind of stuff is in this room? Like, is this large enough that it would take a little bit of time to like search through, or is it like a quick glance around and you wouldn't Which see room anything? Which are you in? Are you covered? Are you in this main room? Um, yeah, I just kind of put myself in here. I didn't. Oops, you you just might be covered by another token. That's fine. Uh, so, no, okay, there I am. So in yep, this main there. room. Yeah, it's a quick glance around, and you can see Born Gray is kind of looking upstairs. Um, Evander is kind of looking around. This is the that that's the dragon, Born Gray. No, Born Gray is the elf. No, uh, Resmir is the dragon. So, who, who are the two at the door? Born the, Gray, the elf and and one of the the second level cultist, Evander. Okay. Um, who's in the room with me? It looks like Abaddon and Micaiah. Vidanya is upstairs. Arik is uh, in the other room. Zan is hidden, and then there's you. So Abaddon and Makai are still in the room. <laughs> there's not much in that room. There's just a, t a couple of tables. If I was to speak loudly, would Zan be able to hear my voice? I have no idea. You don't know where Zan is. <laughs> All right, I'm going to speak loudly because I don't know where Zan is. I'd be like, it's like, all well, this. First room is clear. All right, uh, Zan, make a perception check. 
as Erdnot, you're trying to yell over, like you can hear the, the squawking, and you did see that um, Vidania went upstairs. So, uh, so Zan, you hear Erdnot's voice clearly in the other room. Um, knowing that it's Erdnot, I'm going to use my quiver to send him a message to say, don't draw attention, but I'm under the bed on the first floor. <laughs> oh. <laughs> keep them, keep them away. Um, so, anybody else? Um, does this here, what is this? Is this a bookshelf? Or is that like a, um, what do you call it? I think like a chest of drawers or whatever, you know, like a giant opening beer, like a wardrobe, I think is what yeah. that's actually technically called. Or is that not? Um, that, that's what that is? That one looks also like a bookshelf, given the type of room that this is. A okay. sitting room. Uh, yep. And this, these two, two blue chairs, some something that looks like a couch. And then what is that's this like a, thing? almost kind of like a like a throne in a way. It's like a, a wooden chair with like a green. Oh, okay. yeah. <clears throat> I see. With the head of the table. Um. Right. Well, Eric is gonna. I'm gonna ins- just kind of look around and make sure nobody's hiding around anything in this room, and then I'll call out also. Uh. That would be what a sitting room. Yeah. All right. I would say uh, the sitting room is clear too. All right. Uh. So. Um. Would yeah, I? Would, would I know? Would, would Zan? Notice Arik's voice as well. Yeah, he's in the room right next to you, as opposed to Erdnot, who was like through the wall. You definitely hear Arik's voice. I'll I'll relay to Arik. Um, in the next room, under the bed, tell them this bedroom is all clear. <laughs> I'm under the bed. Please don't look at me. <laughs> um, can I open that? Can I open that door? Yep. This one, no. uh, the one used to find, that. find me a path to get out <laughs> of this room. I would, Eric would open that door also, and then give it a couple seconds, and then say, um, "Bedroom looks clear. Did you guys look upstairs?" All right. Sorry, for Makaya, getting... what are you doing? I am just saying. <laughs> Just, I have no idea what's going on. I'm just gonna say, I just want to find sand. <laughs> All right. No, you don't. I'm going. Where is sand? Are you saying that out loud? Damn. I. No, I'm saying it in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Good Christ! I thought you were gonna say, "Yep, say it out loud." I was like, "Oh no." All right. So Makaya is kind of like. Looking under the table over and over again, like I. Oh. <laughs> okay. So I need to be clear. This is the first floor. Are there and there are two initiates down here no, with us. No, the two us. initiates went upstairs with Vidanya. So everyone else is upstairs, and is that the only um, way that you can get upstairs? Is this one yeah. set of stairs, yeah. the staircase? Yeah. Yep. Um, can I go up, please? Yep. So, okay. So yeah, you guys, you you can go up to the second floor. I'll just describe it it's easier. Um, so you head up and you see Vidanya uh, and the initiates. Um, you can hear them in the other other room. Oh, you guys didn't get to see it. Is the layout the same as this? Sorry, I forgot you guys can't see what Zan saw. So I'll throw you guys up here. Hold on. Um. We can throw I'll us throw you. up. <laughs> I'll throw you up, up here. So, Avedon, oops. I'm just gonna keep you as big as you as you would be. No, I'm not, that looks weird. There we go. It only takes a second, so I will make your image smaller. Update your token. Um, so... Ooh, we got a booby shot on Zan. A booby shot. <laughs> <laughs> Tips first, sorry. 
Who's br- who's breathing into the mic? Oh, that might be actually the fan. Um, so probably that's just, that's just, just that's your bed. heavy. Let's like, say it's heavy breathing. Like, shit. <laughs> 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 So if you click up at the top, you can click on Castle Naratar second level. You should be able to see it. Um, and let me get rid of the walls too. Just because it's easier that way. This turned into a thing. Sorry. There's no 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 sorry. This is the story. This is the story. Sorry, bro. Um. All right. So can you guys see, Micaiah? You you can stay on the first floor because you can't see anything. Um, so this is what you see, this layout here, this is the, uh, oh, there's now a wall there that I accidentally put. There's, um, the sitting room, the hearth up here. Come on. Up this way. Um, down here is, uh, the room with the cage down there with the bird. And you can see, like, Vidania's in there. So. Is that the only other room up here? Well, then there's this other room with the with the bed. But you can't, you are in there. Vidania's down here. So, you come through, you can see the initiates, and they're kind of, like, standing um, next to the, the bird cage, and they look over at Vidania and, like, go check under the bed. And then, Avidon, you come dashing up the stairs. Okay. Um, and let's see here. Okay. Damn it. Uh, and though all the windows are those same. Yeah, they're small. There are no windows on the first floor of the keep, but the second floor starts to have these. Um, there's a special word for them that I cannot remember, but they are uh, arrow slits, basically. They're, they're only big enough for okay. someone to shoot shoot an arrow through, not for a whole body to get through. Okay, and Born Gray and Evan Door are up here yeah, as well, they're correct? they're downstairs at the door. No? Nope, there's two initiates up there with you. Oh, crap. Two, in, two okay. initiates and, and Vidania, who has been sent over. So they look at you, Vidania, and say, go check under the bed. And as as you're moving, you can hear like a little bit of whimpering on your neck. Again, baby, Aww. what's wrong, baby? <laughs> <laughs> wow, those those other two initiates are very confused. I'm <laughs> just what's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as you do that, one of the cultists looks over and he's like, whatever, each their own. <laughs> A lot of weird types in this cult. Um, can I have gone like up the stairs, but not all the way up the stairs? Yeah, you can go. You can go back down. In order to get a view of okay. the whole area, you would have to go up, see it, and then you can start heading like down the stairs. Yeah. Okay. I want to be down the stairs, and um, that's it. Okay. My idea is shot. <laughs> so one of the cultists looks at you, Vidania, and is like, anything? Nope. Room's clear. All right. Not going to be happy about this, but let's go. So then the two initiates walk away, and as you're kind of coming through this, uh, <clears throat> the threshold of the doorway, um, you can feel almost like a tugging towards the bird on your neck. And the bird is still going, but on your neck, the the amulet is like hugging you that way. Can I go closer to the bird? Oh God, it's gonna vaporize the bird. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yep. So, how close do you want to get to the bird? Bird cage. It's currently covered with the sheet. Um. I'll go, oh god, I'll go right up to it, and I'll pull the sheet off. Okay. Oops. I don't know, I can't move anywhere. 
<laughs> no, that's fine. Um, so you go, <laughs> you go over to the. All right, so you go over to the bird cage, and the bird sees you is squawking louder. The initiates are like, "Hey, come on!" And um, let's see what happens here. How am I gonna do this? Okay, so the <laughs> the amulet on your neck. It suddenly lashes out with this, like, long appendage towards the bird. Oh. And now we're fucked. Right. <laughs> we killed the dragon person's bird. Hold on one second. Okay. <laughs> Hold on one second, she says, and I get the chills. This woman. Pseudopod. Well, now we know what it yep, is. Yes, we do. Um, this little... I need to get rid of that. <laughs> this little pseudopod comes shooting out. <clears throat> and I don't have a bird. Hold on, I'm going to try to see if I can find a bird. Um... Oh, wait, I think I do. Hold on. Bird dying grotesquely. <laughs> Just smirk. Alright, everybody, I'm gonna try to find my, um, my beasts and see if I've got a bird. You can use a duck, I think, right? Yeah. That's, that sounds terrifying. Alright. <laughs> duck crow. <laughs> So as you're standing there, this little pseudopod comes shooting out at the bird, latches on, oh man, and suddenly, um, it just like pulls the bird very quickly through the cage bars, which of course are supposed to be smaller than the bird can fit through. And you're like kind of watching a little bit in horror as this like the bird goes and then it like pulls it through and this mouth that is bigger than it should be. I'm so glad I'm not there. <laughs> opens up. Why did you leave? You should have let me cut it off when we were in the cage. Opens up and in like one bite although it's a loud crunchy bite it like grabs it oh, in and ew. on your chest it it eats the um and i actually wanted to name this something different it's not a tiny one um it eats, it eats. the the bird <laughs> very quickly and suddenly That's one way to shut it's quiet That's one way in to the shut room. The initiates come over and look at you. Like one of them like it gets quiet and one of them comes back over and looks in the room. What do you do? You're facing away. <laughs> you're, facing, you're facing away from the door, so you're facing towards the the cage as you just watch this like horrific thing happen. Um, but they're behind and like, what was that? <laughs> did they see? Did um, they see the, the, the thing happen, or did they just hear the silence? I don't think that'd be the reaction if they saw the thing happen. Is there like blood on me or anything? There's a little bit of blood on you, yeah. Um, I just, <laughs> I just, I say, I'm just checking on the bird. <laughs> go, go down. I'm coming. <laughs> uh, roll. And I throw the blanket back roll over. Roll a deception. Roll a deception <laughs> check. <laughs> Move along. There's nothing to see here. <laughs> There's um, just a feather, feather sticking out of its the amulet. <laughs> roll high on a deception check. <laughs> There's almost a 19. <laughs> roll higher on a deception check. <laughs> mm. 
Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> That's not a good way to start that. <laughs> so you throw the thing over. Oh, man. <laughs> you throw it over. And, all right, I got to go down to the first floor here. Um... <laughs> Is it time to play marbles yet, Liz? <laughs> we have some marbles. <laughs> marbles are not going to cure our problem. I know. I've got to pee so bad. <laughs> this whole like, tension, I'm like so like squidged up from the tension. <laughs> ah. All right. So yeah, we're gonna take a break as Vadanya throws the shit <laughs> over the top. Hi. Uh, Wait. I'm can low. we? Can we Louis, hear Louis. it? Hi, Louis. Do. Can we? Does anybody? Can. We would have noticed that the bird start stopped. Everybody would have noticed. Down. Everybody that the bird would have noticed. Stopped, yes. And we will take a break. Okay. Oh man, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna take a break. And uh, we're gonna run some marbles. Um, so I have a question for chat before I start this. Um, so, hello, Louis. Thank you for joining us. Um, is there anybody in chat who is a local who's from the Fairhaven, Massachusetts, like New Bedford, Taunton area? So, if you are a local viewer, please just like throw an emo in chat or something. Because if you are, I'm going to do a local giveaway for, but you have to be from the area so that you can go pick it up at the store that I'm going to drop it off at. If not, we are going to do a, a giveaway tonight of one of our t-shirts, which we bought here, created by our very Ooh, own look at that. Our, uh, fire song, aka Roy. Um, and we're going to, oops, oops, wrong way, we're going to run marbles for it. That's a sexy shirt. While I try to figure out, like in the back of my brain, how you, how to continue along with this story. So I'm going to. Oh switch to my view. God! All right. So first I got to start Steam, and then I'm gonna um, switch the view. Louie, we're again happy to have you. If you hit the follow button, you will be able to play along with our our marbles and um, potentially win a Nat 30s T-shirt. Uh, let's see here. Oh, darn, in Virginia. Um, well, so we're still going to do the giveaway. The giveaway will still will be a t-shirt for anybody um, out there. It's... And there was much rejoicing. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Um, so I'm about to run marbles real quick. And basically how it works is... Um, sorry, they can still see you guys, just so you know. So don't pick your noses or anything. I haven't switched over to a different view. Um, but I will in a moment. Thanks, we're kind of nice, I think. No, we're awful. <laughs> we're pretty nice, and we're all very good friends in real life, so we try to be nice to each other sometimes. And there's a, and there's a really good chance we're all going to die tonight, yeah. so well, it's going to be entertaining. Be dead. <laughs> uh, I don't know what's going to happen. You guys have thrown me for a loop. My bad. <laughs> Ooh-wee. Ooh. All right, let's switch over to marbles. So the way this works is we're going to do three, um, three games. <laughs> yes, Monty Python. I went through and like created all of our, our things like based off of Monty Python because it's been so long. Oh, I'm going to close this because we're not using that. Anymore. Okay, so I'm going to choose three games, three marbles, races. All you got to do, okay, yeah, this show with the last three things that I did. All you gotta do is, um, when the race starts, you're gonna hit exclamation point play. I'm just gonna choose three, um, that people seem to like. So, like, one, House of Pain, let's do that one, and, um, Bongo Boogie, why not? So, we're gonna hit race. Uh, anybody out there who's joined us, even if it's for the first time, please, um, 
click on uh, exclamation point play to join. And we're going to do three races and whoever wins, I don't know how the points work. It's just I let it do its thing and we go with it. So exclamation point play to join. Join the race. Nobody, nobody, anybody? There we go, there we go. Who do we have in chat today? Even the players, you guys can, can join in because we'll just go with um Hey Ye Muffin, hey DGAF. Uh Oh, did you guys already start? No, nope, it hasn't started yet. You can still exclamation point play. Um, whoever is, <laughs> if like our players win, we'll just um, go to the next person who's not a player as the winner. So even out there, Fine. if you just joined us and you have never watched us before, just hit the follow button and you can join in and um, be eligible to win a Nat 30 t-shirt. We've got different sizes, small through extra, 2X actually, actually, 2X large, uh, and we'll be sending those out. I've got a bunch of stuff back here in the corner of my room here to send out over the next couple of days. Um, I think one other no person I do have to... Made by yours, true. Yes, made by our very own RX, RX Fire song. Um, all right. Like I said, even if you're joining us for the first time, just hit that follow button and then you can join in on, um, the chance to win. I'm going to hit start and you'll still have 10 more seconds to join in. And we're going to do three games. So please feel free. Let me hit alt so that everybody can see who's in there. Looks like it's not too bad. We've only got four non-players. All right. Let's see. All right, the last son is in first place. I don't know how, because they're kind of on the last day. Okay, so uh, I'm Louie. Hold on. There we go. Our newbie, our newest, newest uh, Dirty 30s person, individual who has joined the Dirty 30s. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Uh, is in the lead. Congratulations. Going through the uh canal and around the ovarian tube here <laughs> fallopian tube sorry i do know my female anatomy um down into Come the rim <laughs> <laughs> it's fires of Atheline and uh i'm louie oh no it's going around a different fallopian tube this is a different longer one this time and another rim, but not even taking it, just going for it. There you go. That was a quick, quick rim job there. There are uter uteruses <laughs> all over the place in this one, and more rims. <laughs> uteri. Yeah. Rim jobs. That's, that's the episode yeah. title. Uter uteri yeah. and describe that rim job. <laughs> uh, that's a different <laughs> game. Yeah. How, how many? Say, how many how many critties is it for that? Too many. <laughs> for that I, can you imagine? Um, we'll definitely get kicked off yeah. for that. Yeah. Rim job I got I got twenty thousand. I'm just waiting to spend. Wow. You know they're burning a hole in my pocket. So Louis, it looks like Louis. Oh my gosh! No fires of Atheline took the lead. Out of nowhere. Wow. Good job, Ian. Wow! You wow. Me? <laughs> You're gonna have to face me tomorrow, so be careful. I'm gonna make fun of you to your face too. <laughs> no, no, no. Masks and social distancing. <laughs> I won't breathe on you all right. at all. G Muffin coming, bringing up the rear. Oh no, wow. GGAF is stuck. Oh, legit stuck here. There you go. You did it. In the uterus? No, or the... there's some kind of. I don't know. Maybe it's a, a you you um what are those called? I I U D. What are those? The things that you stick you... in <laughs> the implant. Winner fires. Yeah. 
You win <laughs> birth control. <laughs> hey. Who doesn't love birth control? All right. Next we have oh focus. I didn't know what that was. Okay. Exclamation point play. My brain, like somewhere in the back of it, is racing to try to figure out exactly what's going to be happening here, but... I have no idea what the fuck no. to do. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. Exclamation get... point play. I had Game a plan until your pet ate the boss's yeah. bird. I mean... <laughs> I have a plan too, but I don't know how well it's going to work. <laughs> Since, like, we've all been rolling, like, nothing above a damn six. Exclamation point play. Even if you've just joined us just now for the first time... Just hit that follow button and you can join in, and we are giving away a Nat 30s t-shirt today. If we have any local viewers, please uh, just say in chat that you're from, like, the Fairhaven, New Bedford, Taunton, um, pretty much anywhere within, you know, a 30-minute drive or so, because I have a giveaway, but you have to be able to come get it uh, at the Armory War Games and Hobbies in Fairhaven, Massachusetts. Um, so... I guess if, even if we only have one local viewer, then you kind of automatically win because there's nobody else here. Um, and uh, just throw out there that you are from the area. Exclamation point play. We've got another couple of seconds. Let's see here who has joined. Oops, I did not mean... Oh, Nat's, to... Nat Awesome. Yeah, on. hey, Nat Awesome. How you doing? Hopefully you got your whoop, computer whoop. working for you. Um... All right, we've got Yee Muffin in there, DGAF, uh, uh, I'm Louie, not in yet. Are you still there? There you are. I think I still see you. Exclamation point play to um, join in and... Oh no, so this, this particular giveaway is for anybody and it's for a t-shirt. I have a separate giveaway that's just for locals if we have, if we have anybody who's local in chat. But this one's for anybody. All right, I'm gonna hit start. We got Louie in there. Any newbies who want to join, just hit the follow button. You got 10 seconds. I didn't mean to join this race, but it happened, so that's okay. Oh, Makaya. What happened? <laughs> she's she's in the Discord. <laughs> she. What happened? I don't know if she wants. I don't know if she wants us to say that. Oh, okay, game. don't. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> oh, it's probably her butt. Oh no, it's probably. Yeah, her butt. Yeah, I mean, I listened yeah, to the stream of when I, the one that I missed, and I heard a lot <laughs> was said about my butt that night. <laughs> yeah, we, so, thought, yeah. all right. we can talk about anybody's butt. <laughs> all right, that's it. I'm going on Discord. I'm gonna rip her new butthole right now. Uh, I, I think, think that's already need, happening. I don't think you need to. <laughs> oh no, yes. Um, Oh, I mean, wait, well, now we have to I'll deal with this clusterfuck without Makaya? God damn. You know, what, I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll say that, you know how Arik took a bite of that centipede and then immediately vomited oh, all over no. the place? The... It's kind of the equivalent, but also... Ew. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> just run it. She's gross. Yep. Just imagine that centipede was gluten. Oh, no. <laughs> she just, she just, it's just her voice. <laughs> oh, now oh, okay, you got stuck for a second there. Sorry, Micaiah. I hope that you feel better by tomorrow. She does. Oh, she, she, she will. She's listening. So. She's listening. All right. So. I'm kind of going crazy here with this. Thing. Nat Awesome joined us last minute and won this particular race. Who's up oh. next? We got whatever forever, and we got a couple players who are stuck. Oh. oh, I'm getting scissored. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Guys. Louis, coming up. Uh, nope, nope. Oh, oh. DGAF might oh. take over the. Oh my oh, God, oh. Pat. What happened? Beat me. Oh, yeah. Not thirties. That's me. Coming up next. Am I going to get yeeted? That would be pretty funny. Ooh, that was close. That was very close. <laughs> um, Fires of Atheline. Oh, Yee Muffin got yeeted at some point. I missed it. Sorry, Yee. What does yeeted mean? It means mean. you get chucked <laughs> off the map. Dead? Oh. Alright. Yeet or beat. 
Let's go. There you go. Bring it up the rear. I'm, <laughs> th I'm throwing up. <laughs> just slowly but surely, just. <laughs> all right, our last map, Bongo Boogie. Um, all right, so again, we do exclamation point play once the map loads. This is to win a Nat 30 t shirt, which I'm, again, I'm going to be um, sending out uh, most stuff on Monday. Uh, I am waiting for another thing to come in so that I can send out bigger items. I want to make sure they go out in our purple. Our purple things. I'm not going to show. What? I know. That's so cute! Oh my god! I would love to get that package! <laughs> what That's what she that? said! <laughs> Our special package is the dog inside she is. <laughs> I've got a ton of these. But I've got bigger ones coming because I do have to send out the Player's Handbook and Dungeon Master's Guide. That's a compound. And um, everybody loves a bigger package. That's what she said. <laughs> Exclamation point play. Who do I have that we're missing here? Uh, DJF is in, Yee Muffin, Nat Awesome, uh, Louie, if you're still there. Let me double check. Louie's still there. I see a couple of other people who seem to be lurking. Please feel free, just hit the follow button and then you can join in to potentially win one of our t-shirts. We usually do giveaways of like dice and, and stuff. I haven't popped over to the armory. I'm going to be doing that on Monday to get um, probably some painted minis. We do have other fun things coming um, that will, there'll be more announcements on once I, once I get, once I get them. Uh, all right, I'm going to hit the start button and you have seven seconds left to join in exclamation point play. Let's see. All right, Louis. First drop, ball dropped. Oh, but it went back up a little bit. Okay, we've got Arik and Nat Awesome neck and neck. Only one of them can actually win though. So here we go. This is a tough one. Oh, I don't even know where. I'm... Oh, there we are. Woo. Eat. No yeet. Uh, okay, good. No yeets on the first one. Now we've got like a set of stairs though. Whirly stairs. Oh, no. Everybody went one way except for Arik who went his own way. He's a rebel. Uh, <laughs> typical. Yes, Alright, not awesome. Hey, sometimes you just have to bite, sometimes you have to eat the bug, you know? That's all. <laughs> Still in the lead, not awesome, but this is a really rough spot here. This is where a lot of people end up going because it throws you in the air. Oh, uh, not awesome, uh, one again. Everybody's got making all it. all the swag. Bean muffin, where'd you go? Uh oh. What happened? Oh, there you are. Stuck. Yep, got stuck a little bit. All right, let's see the final results. What is that? Huh? <laughs> that is that your Max. damn chips? <laughs> <laughs> no. Third place is Max. the last sun. Second place, fires of Athelene. First place. Nat Awesome. Nat Awesome wins a t shirt um, boop, boop. from the Nat 30. Here, I'll show it again. Congratulations, GGs. Wear it with pride. We'll be sending this off. Unless we all die tonight, then it will be then in no memoriam. Point. Well, no, we're, we are the Nat 30s. You guys are the Bumble Greenest. <laughs> Oh, that's so true. Hopefully that's the very entirety true. of our team here does not die tonight. That would be horrific. That would be horrific. And I hope everyone has backup characters just in case. Several. I don't. 
this I mean, is it te- for me. <laughs> technically, only one has to die, and he's hiding <laughs> under a bed. Well, now there's two that probably have. To yeah. Die. The one hiding under the bed, we can still get out. <laughs> All right. Don't say that. <laughs> We won't sacrifice you. When something sticks to your hand and cannot be removed, you remove it somehow. It's a (laughs) face hugger. You've seen Alien. It's a face. It's you can't cut it off. It's attached to you forever. It wouldn't be so bad if if the bad guy. It would. It wouldn't be so bad if the bad guy didn't just get done with a little like thing about like. Don't you speak bad about my bird. My <laughs> I fucking bird, love that love. bird so much. Because you, you know this giant intimidating look. dragon sits there at night going, Oh, little sneaky witch. No, it, he, that's <laughs> the elf. This is the elf's bird. The dragon is the, oh, the dragonborn I thought is still dragon outside. Oh. Yeah. It's the one thing. Is it born can... gray? Yes. Born gray's bird. This yeah, is born gray's, gray's bird. This is born gray's office. The, the note that Zan had found was from Resmir to somebody, but this is Born Gray's area. So, we rejoin you. Mm-mm. No, it's okay. In our prayers. <laughs> Continue. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, uh. Let's do marbles so, again. <laughs> I, mean, I can give away shirts all night. Um, I only have like a dozen. All right, so... <laughs> You all heard <clears throat> the bird stop screaming. Um, the Danya is technically not on this floor, but I'm gonna leave it so that you can you can see. Oh my god! <laughs> that, was, that was the bones of the bird. <laughs> uh, so nailed it. You guys all heard the the bird stop. Um, one of the initiates, so Avedon, you are standing on the stairs, heading down. One of the initiates that was up there turned around um, and started heading back into the room where Vidanya was and was saying, what was that? Um, downstairs, Born Gray is standing at the door with Evendor, right about here, um, looking up the stairs. Arik, you have just heard Zan telling you to make him a path. And Erdnot, you heard the same. Makaya is kind of like, she seemed she seemed a little bit lost this entire time. Um, and she just is like <laughs> continuing to look like in areas. She, she walks into this, this area here and is kind of like looking in the, the cabinet, I mean, in the bookshelf there and looking in places that you've already looked um what are you doing so who just looked in that spot i'm sorry Makaya is just so kind of like looking around like oh she doesn't really she's not fully okay. understanding okay. what's happening it's er no uh, oh, so, w- oh sorry well um, well, having noticed <laughs> that the like, I need to do something right now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, having noticed that the bird is not um, screaming anymore, and that um, uh, Vidania has said everything's fine, it's okay. Just keep looking. I am going to cast um, thaumaturgy or thaumaturgy. Yep. yep. So I'm going to do that and create. Um, a sound of a raven. Where? Where are you creating this sound? Um, I think I can do it from th- coming from the cage. If I'm on the stairs, I should be within range. So I'm going to have you roll an insight check first to see okay. if you... Because you were on the stairs when the noise suddenly stopped. So in order for you to... What is your... Basically, what is your goal? Because you wouldn't know that anything happened to the bird. So are you, regardless, trying to get the bird to keep sounding for a particular reason? Or 
if you think something happened, I need you to write an in, uh, roll an insight check to see if you can discern from Vidanya's voice that something just went wrong, essentially. You know what I mean? Uh, yes, yes. The second, I understand. Okay. Yes. Um, from her explanation. Okay. Um, All right, yes. so roll an insight check. That's what I'm hoping for. First, before you do the spell to see if you can, if you can hear the wavering in Vidanya's oh, right. voice. Okay, so you can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, everything's fine. <laughs> everything, everything's fine here. Really fine. That's How are you? Here. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, I might not be able to hear that. <laughs> um, that was me, by the way, playing with Kaya. It's a two foot. It's two feet. Oops. I was like, how is Makaya doing that on the toilet? <laughs> oh, yeah, what the hell? <laughs> um, okay, so, uh, yeah, unfortunately with that roll, you you hear her Damn say it. that, like, everything's fine, and you're like, oh, everything's worked out up there. <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> In the meantime, uh, downstairs, uh, Guess I'll go. <laughs> Or not knowing that Zan needs to get out of this room and no, there's two people at the door and two people upstairs. I'm going to cast Minor Illusion um, at the two dudes at the door. Um, I want them to hear the dragon guy lady person calling to them, saying their names and then like, report to me in the courtyard now. Um, You have never heard Resmir speak. Didn't didn't she just speak in the Nope. In the that courtyard? That was that was um that was Born Gray. Oh Born Gray and Evendor. That's still something like that's not a bad idea you though. Can, not quite that you can that well I'm not gonna like Make up a voice. <laughs> no, no, not that exactly. It's still I... Right. It's not a bad idea. You just have you have not heard her speak yet. I just don't want to metagame, so I don't want to like bring up subject subject sub suggestions since Arik is in the other room. It's not like it could be from the other room, like hey, <laughs> try this. I'm gonna have Alright, I'm just gonna have um, a voice call to them uh, again. It'll be not, it can't be the dragon's voice because I don't know their voice, but uh, another cult member's voice calling to them that they're needed in the courtyard. Which one? Whose voice? It's just a voice that I had heard while we were here. Let's say the, uh, the I've heard, I heard the, the redhead talk, yep. right? Yep, you heard red. I'll use her voice. Okay, what does she say? She just calls them by name and says, uh, we need you to report to the courtyard now. She calls them by name, so she says their names. Whose names are you talking about? Yeah. The two dudes at the door, whose names I cannot right. remember. Born Gray and... And... Evendor. She says... I have a hard time remembering all the names, too. <laughs> She said, "You're gonna to want to write these down because <laughs> it, it can it can uh, impact your role." Um, Born Gray and Evendor. What is she saying? Come out to the courtyard. We need you. We need you out here in the courtyard. All right. Um, roll a deception check. Or actually, sorry. Is it a deception? Performance. Roll a performance. Oh, I can't roll on there. I'm gonna show up. Ooh, nice. All right. Um. Finally. Thank you. Finally. Oh, wait, wait. So. Twenty-one. Yeah. You see, Born Gray, and Evandor. They look at each other, um, and Born Gray is like, I swear you. People are so incompetent 
And he says this looking at Evendor, like kind of looking him up and down, like with disgust. Um, Still not meaning as well as Mikaya. Um, all right. Uh, so Born Gray yells up to the top. How is? Did I name that bird Eli? I can't remember every thing. Yeah, wrote. I didn't write it, it was down. Eli. See, I didn't write down my own thing. I did. Um, <laughs> it, I did. How is Eli and uh, Vidania? You're up there. The initiate, like, one of them is walking down the steps, kind of looking back at, at the one who stood up there. Um, and the other one is coming into the room. And as he walks into the room, you turn around, and he sees a little bit of blood on your chest. Just a little bit, but your deception roll is really low and bad, so he saw it. Um, and he's like, what the fuck? Looking at your... Chess, what are you what are you doing? Oh, I just had a nosebleed earlier. Make a deception roll. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was wondering why she didn't say that when we fought the centipedes. I was like, damn it, damn it. <laughs> I know. I only made sure to say that. Do they have blood? Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. There's a okay. nat 20 right there. <laughs> and wow, <laughs> the 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 uh the other cultist is like, oh shit man, I hope that's kinda I I alright, well <laughs> he kinda turns and, and yells down the stairs. Seems like everything's fine up here, bird's alright. Eli Eli's Eli's quieted down. And um Born Grey and uh Thank you, Ian, for hanging out. Sleep well. Born Gray and Evendor look at each other and they're like, okay, I'll be right back. And uh, that was Born Gray. And Evendor looks at everyone and is like, go. And <laughs> the, the initiates come like down the stairs down the stairs um, and Born Grey, Evendor, head out this way. What are you guys doing? They're out of the room. They have left the room. The initiates are leaving. Alright. Then because Eric, Eric doesn't know or now we'll just run in to the bedroom and say you're clear ish. <laughs> okay, Zend is gonna come out from under the bed, uh, dust himself off, and say, "All right, this went really bad, really fast." <laughs> you, you guys. <laughs> we need. Yeah, you get the impression that like you're going to be expected to follow. You are still part of this, you know, initiate group. So. Zenda Can. is going to uh, use his quiver to ask Avadon to come come close. And Zenda has a really bad idea. He's going to say, open the bag of holding. <laughs> Can, before we kill you, <laughs> <laughs> can we ask Makaya to make him invisible or something. Doesn't she have something like Mikaya that? Does pass without a trace. Mikaya has pass without a trace. <laughs> that was yes. A... Would that be better than shoving your ass in an almost full bag of holding? You guys have very little time to determine what this step is. They, they've just walked out the door. The initiates have walked after them. If you don't follow, you're going. It's going to impact um, your roles. Arik, Arik is going to come up to the door the door and how far did they get are they already up to the other door um like where are they are they like halfway are they all all the way in the other I'm room i'm gonna say how far is this let's see oops sorry nope that's not what i wanted to do hold on 
It's only it's only about a twenty foot walk, so they are the they are approaching the other side of the court yard there, so Born Gray and Evendor are approaching that area. The initiates are behind them. The lizard folk with the guard drakes, they are keeping them at bay in that area. <clears throat> you have a few okay. seconds. Um Arik is gonna come up to the door and look. And he's gonna look and see them that they're getting close to that door and he's gonna like like really hoping that, that Zan can do his stealthy thing and not roll a fucking one again. <laughs> like like stick close and we can maybe move so, his Zan will use his quiver to ask Micaiah to cast pass without a trace. I think I have to stay within thirty feet, 30 feet so I'm just gonna kind of hang hang back. To try and not draw attention and try and slip out as they are slipping out. All right, let me just double check her stuff. Uh, all right, so she's got a second level, so she's going to cast Pass Without a Trace. Um, so you see her. She reaches into this pouch that's by her side and pulls out uh, like a pinch of ash, and says some words, and then does this like hand motion. And, um, she chooses you, uh, to have this. So everyone else does not have this on them. Uh, what does it do exactly? So, oh, sorry. I'll make this visible. So if you click on it. And right before we yeah. go. Um, Arik is going to take some of the blood from the, uh, uh, the centipedes, a little bit of the puke that might be just kind of still here on yep. him still, and a little bit of his blood, and he's going to just kind of, because we all, I'm assuming that we all as a crew look like we just fought a bunch of yep. centipedes, right? Like we all have like little bites and we have some blood on us, but he doesn't, right? He's pretty like pristine and Ooh. clean. Oh, Zan, yes. Uh, Zan? He's a little right, dusty. So I'm just going to, uh, like, just kind of, like, I'm just going to like put some on him to look like to make him look like he uh like he was with us when we fought the centipedes. Okay. All right, I'll say uh roll a uh roll sleight of hand with disadvantage cuz you're doing this super fast. As you guys have only okay. a couple of seconds just... to get through here, so we'll see how good it turns out. Well, like I said, I just wanted to like smudge some on him so it doesn't look perfectly clean. That's mm -hmm. all. Uh, that's already not great. So, yeah, okay, that, that's a friggin' what, So you smacked him with- smacked him with <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so pass without a trace, you have- Well, that's- I mean, really, that's all I wanted. I just wanted to- well, I just had to put some blood on it. Make it look like you fought the centipedes. Luckily, Micaiah has diarrhea, so you can just throw <laughs> her diarrhea <laughs> on him. <laughs> Jesus. You were waiting for that. Aren't you? <laughs> you were waiting to see something. All right. I was like, poop check. I know a poop check. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, you guys head head through here, back across the courtyard. I'm just going to gather you guys back up again so I can move you as a unit. Um, and, oh, we got Erdna over here. Do I have everybody? I think so. My doors are gonna be up here. There we go. So you guys head across the courtyard. Zan, are you trying? How are you handling this situation? Uh, so Zan's gonna try and do his like blend in, just kind of look like he was a part of people looking, and just kind of slip out in the crowd. Okay. All right. So first, I'll have you do a stealth check. Um to like get across the courtyard. The, the lizard folk aren't looking, it's just that you wanna get back to the area. It's clear that you weren't with this group when you first arrived, so you're trying to get across the courtyard where they can't see you and then blend in with the crowd as if you had always been there. So just um, a stealth check as uh, with, with plus 10. With pass. Yeah. Plus 10 to your roll. 23. Right. Um, 
So that's you getting across. So uh, Evendor, the initiates, Born Gray, they all come around here and um, through the doorway. There we go. You guys enter into the main hall again and then back out into the courtyard. Zan, you feel pretty comfortable. Like you, you almost like followed behind the whole group as you went through the, the, that main dining area. And then once you got out into here where things have gotten, it's been like a couple of minutes, um, you see Red has, uh, is standing next to Resmir. And there are Bullywugs all croaking around each other, and Red is is talking quietly with Resmir, who um, holds up a hand, and all the Bullywugs kind of quiet down. And then you you see, as you guys enter out here, then you're able to kind of slip back into the crowd. Um, quick thing, check something real fast. roll that either that way okay so you feel like you've slipped back into the crowd of people without anybody noticing that you weren't there the whole time um but as you guys are standing there uh and you see resmir she like holds her hand up and is like shaking shaking her head as all these frogs are croaking all around and the lizard folk the one that you had knocked over arik is like standing over with um, another crowd, and you see Snapjaw is over in that area too, talking to like a, a small group of lizard folk. And um, then you also see coming out from a door down in this direction, you see. There he is. Another Bullywug, but this one much more fancily dressed than the others. Um, all of the clothing that they wear <laughs> is raggedy and disgusting and covered in, in muck and gore and everything. Um, but he comes through croaking, all the bullywugs, he does this loud, like, Rah! and they all look around, and then he's there, he croaks at each of them, and he has, like, as you can see, this, this staff, this staff, um, with some shit hanging off of it, this nasty, um, it looks kind of like a, like a giant, what are those things called, barracuda type head, up, up on his head is like a crown, um, and then the head of looks to be uh, some kind of undead creature. Essentially what you see here is what you get. And he walks through um, his big belly just kind of... Are you showing us a going. picture? I don't see anything. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, there, there go. we go. Oh, he's a gross motherfucker. <laughs> um, he uh, walks uh, through... Oh, what's he... What's he, hold, what's he holding? He's holding... Uh -huh. You don't know. Like, in this particular uh -huh. picture, he's holding some kind of... In this moment, he's not holding anything, but in that, he's looks like a heart of something um and he walks through and and you hear Resmir for the first time and she's got this very deep resounding voice i almost picture and no, none of you will know who i'm talking about because or maybe you will um the prime minister of barbados and only because i've been there and i actually got to see her speak in person and it was very impressive but this she has this like deep commanding voice um and Resmir looks over and she says, Ah, Spattergoo. Although I don't know how you could say that with a straight face in general. But, ah, <laughs> Spattergoo. Get your people under control, please. And he comes forward and is like, Of course! And he goes, Reverend, Reverend. And they're all like riveting and croaking mm -hmm. at each other. And then um, he waves his, his staff. And this little like flash of lights—it's almost like it's a, 
like a show for them all goes like beep, 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 and they're all like beep, 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 and they get they, they, they don't appear to be super smart you see the lizard folk over and when when spattergoo far black spattergoo comes forward all the lizard all the lizard folk look over and they look pissed to see him they don't it's clear that they despise this particular Bollywood more than the others. Snapjaw looks over. Um, everyone make a perception check. As you're coming through the door. So... I actually rolled. Hey, Ari. I actually rolled high. Oh, I should make hey. one for Vidanya. <laughs> I mean, sorry, Micaiah. I was looking at Vidanya's name. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. You're just very confused. <laughs> like, you see this guy come out, and he looks so gross. And you haven't seen... A... I'm like, oh my <laughs> god. Uh, that guy still needs con- a still... bath. <laughs> oh, nice. Still concerned about the bird. <laughs> Oh, she doesn't know what happened yeah, to the bird. I don't know about the bird yet. I only know it stopped singing. So that was not singing. <laughs> True, um, you're right. <laughs> Arik and Micaiah, actually. Um, as this is all happening, you catch a glimpse. And you don't you don't know the significance of it at this moment, but you catch a glimpse of a an a um a necklace around the neck of Born Bray. And it has this like dark onyx uh stone and like at a moment when he turns, he turns to look at red and is like, you called us, and it flashes, like, in just a very little bit of light as the, as Farblex lets off all these lights, and you see just this little jewelry that catches your eye. You don't know the significance of it, but you see it, and it catches your attention. Um, I rolled a 17. Was that not enough to see this, too? Oh, I didn't see. Oh, uh, yeah, you would have seen this, too. I'll say you saw it too. Um, again, you don't know the significance of it, but you see this little gem on on Thorn Gray's chest um, on this necklace. Uh, Vidanya, as this is all happening, there's so much happening right now in this scene. Um, Vidanya, <laughs> as you're walking through like the amulet that was on your chest that you just saw, like I don't know, obliterate this bird. Um, <laughs> It's, it almost feels like there's this like gentle warmth coming from it now, and it's almost like you can hear a little purr. Like, oh, and it's had a turkey oh, dinner. Oh, yeah. that's so cute. That, What's the turkey have? Tryptotelin trip, trip, or something? Tryptophane. <laughs> oh, I just, let's see, just eat fucking Tweety Bird. <laughs> now it's happy. Um, <clears throat> I'll just be like, bad little BB. <laughs> <laughs> and she's into it. <laughs> Still cute. And I get um, it. Um let's see. You then you notice uh that Snapjaw looks over at um Farblex and then he you see him look over at Issa and Issa looks at Snapjohn. It's like there's a bunch of like people looking at each other and it's like It's like the Return of the Jedi, everybody's staring at him. Dun, dun, dun. Um... <laughs> Somebody salute so R2 can shoot us a lightsaber. And uh, Red looks over at Born Grey and she's like, I did not I did not call you. I've been trying to deal with this situation. I'm sorry. Born gray, it. I I did not call you, and he looks at everyone and he's like, "We clearly heard your voice, Evander. Did you not hear her voice?" And Evander looks and he's like, "Red, I yes, we 
after here. And she's like, I did not call you. And Resmir looks over. She doesn't say much. Um, but she's just looking back and forth between everyone. Uh, and Born Gray is like, and then he says, Evendor, come. Red, let's go. And they head back in the direction of the, uh, the keep. Back through that main doorway. Resmir uh, is standing there, and she calls over to the lizard folk. Um, and she tells them, follow them and make sure everything is all right. I, I, I'm going to retire whatever this nonsense is. And she heads back down to the east. Down. Um, and she kind of snaps her fingers and five or six lizard folk follow her down that way. Um, Issa is standing over by the door and she looks at all of you and she's like, <laughs> Does the dragon board have like um the lizard folk that followed her? Are they like her royal guard detail essentially? Like this, are they just kind of follow her everywhere? These ones, she just snapped her fingers type of thing, and they and they followed her down in that direction. Um, so what are you doing? Um, did the, did Spatter do there, is he still doing that little light show or did he leave? He's still there. He's not doing the light show anymore. He's just kind of standing there watching Resmir go, um, and croaking to his, like, little minions, um, looking off. He, he's watching Resmir at the moment. Is the crowd dispersing from the courtyard or are people kind of sitting here waiting orders? They're... There's a combination of stuff going on. Some people have left, like lizard folk appear to be going back to primarily what they're doing. Some lizard folk followed um, Evendor and Red. The cultists appear to be kind of hanging out in the courtyard because they weren't really given any orders and they were not told to follow Born Gray. So people are kind of looking a little bit lost after everything that just happened. Can I yes. can I go um, over to um to Zan and kind of like look around, pull him aside? Is there anybody like around us that could hear? There there is, but if you will say like you can be smart enough to, you know, pull off in an area where it feels like there aren't people watching, prying eyes. Okay, I'm like Zan. Watching you. Listen. <laughs> My necklace ate the fucking bird. <laughs> <laughs> you, Use your quiver using, and tell everyone. <laughs> you, using my quiver. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> and then he will relay it to everyone that Adonia's necklace is cannibalistic. It ate the bird. You would um, hear her not go, fuck! <laughs> and when people turn and look at him, he looks down and goes, I, I stubbed my toe. <laughs> Eric was walking, was going to be walking over in the direction of Snapjaw. And he just literally, when that comes into his head, he just stops mid stride and his eyes go wide and he just turns and just kind of like looks at Vidania from across the hall. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> like, like in his head, he's thinking, "It did what?" <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. Like, Zan, Zan, Zan is gonna start making his way towards uh, Issa and kind of look at everyone <clears throat> as he walks towards her. Kind of give him the eyes, like. Mm. <laughs> All right. So. Uh, did oh, but... um. Resmir just took off with like um is there any possibility that she's like 
suspicious of that kind of weird shit, or does she just not care? Like, well, as, you know as I mean? far as Resmir is concerned, like everything that's going on right now is very confusing, but there doesn't seem to be any actual problem. Like, so she's not. She doesn't feel threatened at all by that activity. No, because like, by some well, you guys all know that a lot of shit just went down. Like, nothing has actually really happened. If you think about it, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. a cultist uh, maybe fell it for you guys. <laughs> right, it feels that way for right, you. Right, right, right. But like, a cultist <laughs> fell right. into a lizard boat. Some shit. Another another cultist said that a bullywug tried to steal stuff, but nobody could really come to a conclusion on that. So it just looks like a lot of bullshit at the moment. It's just like a lot of nonsense. <laughs> like, so she's just kind of annoyed. Right. Like, get your shit together. That, okay. If you, right. you kind of like step back and and think about the overall of what just happened, you guys went through a lot and it was very tense. But for like a leader looking around at everything that's going on, it just looks like a bunch of subordinates not able to handle basic mm-hmm. stuff. So she just doesn't have time for it. Gotcha. It looks like nothing happened, and there's a bunch of shit happening that doesn't mean anything. Mm-hmm. So this, just a bunch of nonsense right. to her. Bitch, don't care. I mean, you can't you can't really know that for sure, but I just mean like in a general sense, if you take a step back and kind of look at the situation mm-hmm. from outside of the bums, <laughs> nothing nothing has really occurred that has says that anything's really wrong or at least not in this moment while Born Grey is heading back into his room in order to look at his bird. <laughs> so. I'm going to walk over to Eric. I know Zan's walking over to Issa. I'm walking over to Eric and then I don't know if we're going <laughs> to walk over to Issa together. He said, I think you were said you were going in that direction or you're going to Snapjaw. I was going to snap drop to, um, I was going towards the snap drop. We just got right. Hey, nice. Yeah. I missed all the, oh, they missed the, they so missed all the shit. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, the shit. So much shit just went down. <laughs> well, I was heading towards snap jaw right up until I got the mental message from Zan. That Vadanya's necklace just ate the fucking bird of the leader of this place. <laughs> so then I just quickly course corrected from this way to huh, that way towards the rest of the group. Right. So you head towards Lisa, <clears throat> and um, she like looks at all of you and she's like, "I don't know what the fuck just happened, but <laughs> Zan, I'm glad to see you're alive. We have." Uh, everything, I don't know. What just happened? A lot. <laughs> Hell of a first day. <laughs> is, is there is there anyone, or are we in like a kind of secluded area, like a place to, to you're talk? You're not in a secluded area. You're kind of like, you're in the crowd, you're in the courtyard, um, but everybody's kind of doing their thing at the moment. So, no, it doesn't appear anybody's paying too much attention to you. You just kind of look like a bunch of cultists who are talking with one another. Could be talking about what just happened in, when you followed what's their faces into the... Uh, Zan is going to fill everyone in about his conversation with our Mr. Wizard. Um... Oh, we haven't seen that guy either, right? He hasn't been out here in the courtyard. Are you doing that with a quiver? Yes, with the with the quiver. And tell them he saw the writing about a portal and an amulet. (gasps) Oh, by the way, we're not staying very far away from Vidanya. Okay. Yeah. See, so, yeah, Ar- 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 going to be very suspiciously looking at her, her neckline there. <laughs> that thing is there. And I elbow uh, Zan um, and point to my necklace. 
and then point to Issa. <laughs> <laughs> As in, tell her about the necklace. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <definitely> her. <laughs> Not that I wanted to eat her. <laughs> Z- Zan will also fill Issa in on how Vidania got the bird to stop ta- uh, squawking. Okay. <laughs> so, this takes a, a second, this little conversation that you're having. And as you are having it, you hear from the top, well, not the top, top of the keep, but the second floor window, one of the little arrow slits, you hear this yell that is very clearly coming from Born Gray, who says, Eli, what happened to Eli? And... Everybody in the, the courtyard area stops and is like looking up at the, looking up <laughs> at the tower. And Issa, who you have just filled in on the bird, looks at, looks at Yvadanya and she's like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> and we will actually stop there. Oh, oh my God. so hard to stop oh. I try to figure out how in the hell I am going to, like, I have to now come up with so many scenarios about, like, what could possibly happen. I'm so next. sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Literally everything that could have gone wrong in this situation. We had the worst roles. Just hey. Wow. I had a good roll. <laughs> we, 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 we made it out alive. <laughs> I totally bought it that I had a bloody nose. Natural We're not dead yet! <laughs> yes. Oh, um, man. oh my god. Fuck. I don't even know what to say to oh my you guys. <laughs> I say fuck these lizard people and get the fuck I out mean... of here. <laughs> Let's do something else. <laughs> I own a bar. Like, let's just leave. (laughs) I mean, I know I set it up that, you know, your necklace kind of pointed you in that direction, but you didn't have to go in it. (laughs) Yes, you did. The bird is dead. The bird is going to be so fucking mad that you did not let him whack that thing off. (laughs) Like, cut my hand off? (laughs) If it was on your shoulder, I could have hit it like it was a T-ball. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You... I mean, you can't. No, because you couldn't right. even knock it off. I couldn't. I couldn't pet it off. With the with the rolls we've been having, you'd miss and decapitate her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. in the head. You'd murder I have me. So many things I could have. I could have done to that thing to get it off there. I I could have sacred flamed it. I could have. It's connected it. to her. Oh my <laughs> god! You've had like three weeks of traveling to do it and you haven't done a damn thing. Because I've been nice. I'm not just gonna just go saying. up to her and try to shake it off of her like a Why? Jump. I did. It's only been a couple <laughs> days, but yeah. Erdnot has asked several times if, you, if she wants him to uh, take it off of her, but she said it's no. So he's cute, though. Being nice. But now he knows that it <laughs> fucking eats things. It's a changer. Oh, it's a game changer. So, <laughs> um, so for our raiders, thank you so much for coming in. Uh, you came in kind of near the end, but uh, we did do uh, our... Her necklace ate a fucking bird through the cage. <laughs> a tentacle came out. I think the sound effects were so perfect when you were eating chips and it was just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Bones crunching. So, um. Oh my god. Alright, so here's, here's, uh, we did do our, our, our t shirt giveaway, and that awesome was the recipient of a, uh, Nat 30s t shirt. Made by our very own R. Um, I'll be stopping into our, our local uh, game store to find out what our next giveaways are going to be. Um, oh, maybe one of our raiders is a, a local. Maybe they can oh, uh, yes. get the local giveaway. If we have any locals in chat right now, I'm looking to do a quick giveaway. Um, local being anybody who's from the Fairhaven, New Bedford, Taunton, 
pretty much any 30 minutes within 30 minutes south coast, south coast of massachusetts, massachusetts um, who can stop into the armory war games and hobbies to pick up their uh prize so if we have anybody in chat right now who's from that area you kind of like if there's only one of you you automatically throw it a zan 2020 you automatically win <laughs> yeah there you go throw in a zan 2020 if not well um i have some like initiatives to try to get some more local people watching um but if you haven't already check out our previous session from thursday we did our first duet it was um a Zan backstory flashback. It went really, really well, and the story was was really fun. Um, and we definitely recommend you check it out. It is available on our YouTube, and also right now it's available down in the um, in the, the videos on demand from two days ago. So we are going to raid. We'll be back on Tuesday to play more Bums and Greenest. On Monday, I will be doing some DM prep. And we appreciate the raid so much, DM the Mark Knight. I think I have... Oh yeah, it, it threw out already the little, uh... The shout-out for you when you arrived, so thank you. And let's go raid, um... If anybody has any suggestions, but I was gonna go to... Uh... DPK Roleplay? Why not? But if you have anybody else that you think would be a, a good choice for tonight. And I hope you guys had fun. This was kind of a crazy session. Um, <laughs> this was really cool. This was really <laughs> stressful so for me. <laughs> this was a very good session. <laughs> uh, but we're going to go ahead. I was trying to think of everything I could. And I just, just, just nothing seemed plausible. <laughs> Nothing at all. Like, I didn't was, want Dan to go in the bag of holding because how we were rolling, we're not we weren't gonna get him back out of there. Yeah, that's always a very Oh we have so we have I feel like we could make a whole episode about talking about how this game went. <laughs> like just tonight. Yeah. <laughs> well that's what I said. We need to start doing some like talking. recaps oh, yeah. and talking shit. We can um you know, yeah. we could do that on Monday if you wanted. Also just for people out there who are watching this in the chat. We do. Uh, we are in the midst of planning out a um, a fireside, like a legitimate fireside chat, um, where everyone will come over to our house here, and we've got a fire pit, and uh, we'll try to film our discussion. It may or may not be live. It might be like pre-recorded with us in the chat, kind of chatting with you all, um, while our pre-recorded session plays. It all depends on on whether or not I can get a 150 foot ethernet cable, which is actually plausible, apparently. So, uh, like soon, I mean. I, I might have one. I'll have to check oh, okay. if I have a 150 foot one. I know I have a bunch oh, okay. of long. I only said cables. 150 just, just to be, to be safe, safe, because I'm not positive 100, 100 will, will make it out I there. I think 100 will make it. I think I can pull one out of my book for well, you. Well, it is the bottom <laughs> of the greenest. I would expect you to be able to do that. So we're going to raise uh, TPK Roleplay with, let's see, we've got 13. Do I see 15? we got 14. Do I see 15? 15 viewers. 15, 15. Anybody 15? Come on, come on, come on. Come on. I see 18. Yeah. On there. Not everybody um, has to come, though. So, 14 viewers ready to raid TPK Roleplay now. So, that was funny. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yay. Whew. Man. If I anything, I was time. I was only making an analogy when I said, "Guys, don't throw matches." I kicked over the <laughs> gas can by accident. <laughs>